right. Welcome, everybody. It is Tuesday night, 5 5 10, no limit. We are here, myself and Vic, the ultimate victory cigar of poker, uh, next to me tonight. And Vic, we have a, a return of some familiar faces we haven't seen in a while. And this is, looks to be shaped up to be arguably bigger than last week. And that's hard to believe. It is hard to believe. I mean, we've got a great lineup. And um, I'm going to do use the analogy of. Uh, when the first super group was formed, Cream, Clapton, uh, Jack Bruce, and oh, um, <laughs> and the, the drummer, uh, 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 Ginger Baker, Keep I mean, going. that was considered the first super group because yes. uh, these guys came to uh, together um, with great credentials. And we've got a super group, I think, tonight. Mm -hmm. We usually have uh, a great super group, super lineup, but uh, I'm pretty excited about tonight. I think we're going to see some great action um, some really good poker play. We are nine-handed here tonight for our five, five, ten, no limit hold'em ca cash game here in Toledo, Ohio, at the Reserve, Glendale Avenue, Glendale Avenue, and it is a one, one, or a one, one thousand to two thousand dollar buy-in, and you match can uh, you can match the stack. So uh, they're going to be a lot of money. Last week we saw at one point on the table we had thirty-seven, thirty-eight thousand dollars on the table. Right. Some serious money out there. And there's uh, no reason to believe we won't see the same kind of action here tonight. And uh, they're kind of getting the players going, getting them uh, rallied up, hurting yeah. some cats and getting them at the table so yeah. we can get started. we got and Mr. Josh Black starting things off at the box. We're not. You don't need to wipe your eyes. That is correct. It looks like one of our old school live streams. we got Buddha <laughs> right there. we got Courtside Caleb uh, making his return. And uh, he's always fun on here, a uh, good action player, but also a very nice skill set. Also, Garrett, I mean, like I said, some of these gentlemen I used to see every single week when I started just a little bit over a year ago, and like Miles, Mr. Pepsi, uh, a.k.a. Gene, who, yeah. who's on here. We got the OG John coming in with his casual, you know, show up 10 minutes because, uh, you know, he comes straight from work and usually has to pick a big gulp and all the side bets are on which one it is, but that's always fun. But, yeah, a great game tonight. Blake's back here also, who we've gotten to watch in the last month, and – he doesn't seem to really put any uh, limits on his range. I mean, 6'4", king-10, pocket aces, obviously, but anything uh, that's suited pretty much, he'll play it. Yeah, so. I had a great conversation before the stream with uh, Blake, and um, this is a young man that over the last couple of years has decided to make this game uh, a big part of his life. He's serious about it, um, playing – uh, probably uh, five, at least five times a week and playing at a level of 5, 10 cash games. Oh. Not really a tournament player, but... And here we are real quick. I don't mean to right cut away. Off, but we got James in seat three. Scott, uh, who we just saw come in the hand. Two players that made deep runs in our Millie guarantee. I remember dealing to them, calling their action. Yeah. So we're going to see two heavy hitters that were playing for... $270,000 just about a month ago play on our Tuesday night live stream. Love and to see look that. look at the very first hand. Everybody's got clubs, but Caleb came in with uh, five deuce, and he just gets smacked with that flop. It only seems right. Basically, he's saying daddy's back, folks. Yeah. Daddy's back. <laughs> Ten no help from Miles. Surprised we saw a club after all those clubs. And nothing really for Miles to go after here, so he's going to let it go. Caleb just hoping maybe he had ace-10 keep him in that hand. But the first pot of the night going to uh, an old favorite here. Not that he's old, but one of the, one of the initial uh, regulars when we started this live stream back in September of uh, 2022. What do the ladies call that? Well, Caleb's right in my wheel, wheelhouse. He's a silver fox. He's got the grays just like I do in the in the beard. That's what I'm rocking to now, especially today. I noticed that a lot more than normal. And thanks, everybody, so far for joining us tonight. We've got uh, Daryl. We've got Marty Ball. We've got uh, Robert here. Yep, Robert is going to be a good one. Wayne, Gabe. Rooting for Miles, and Miles is going to have 
a bunch of his uh, new teammates here. He's uh, on a he's took out of a retirement. Couple, took a couple couple years off. He's come back from retirement. Pulling a Brett Favre. He's got his uh, new team hoodie on, the Cardinals, and so he definitely wanted to shout out to all those guys watching him tonight. Three handed going to this flop. We got a seven king six board rainbow. Right now, Buddha. First Nemesis sighting, King Jack, bump up to 75. Garrett's going to come along with bottom pair, non-believer. And we got a five on the turn. Gives an open ender. Great card for Garrett. Free card for Garrett and a blank. King. Buddha, second hand of the night, takes it down with a $140 profit, sitting in seat one. Again, we are nine-handed tonight, just kind of waiting, uh, not waiting, but we will see our usual seat nine player, the OG, OG John and DFG is in the house on the board, chat board. Concrete Dave is not going to be with us tonight. Hopefully soon. Coming back over top of me nine times out of ten, I'm out I'm the easiest guy to bluff at the table. 100%. I heard we had this game filled like early last week. We did have it filled early yeah, last week, early. and we had a couple of other players, and right, I think we even have a couple of lingers out there in the main room. I heard Rhino might be getting on later too if someone busts out. So that's another Rhino word. was uh, on the list that was published today, but this is what we're starting out with. Caleb again, again playing uh, the Caleb game, and uh, you got to love it. Yeah. Action, Calls for it. raising, Buddha coming in with the deuces, and Gene the Pepsi machine. Mr. Pepsi back in the saddle. Here we go, Jack nine six. Sure. Sure. Bottom pair for Caleb. Well, I don't know if it's a heater, but he's definitely on a roll, without a doubt. I encourage everybody to go to the, and again, this is a $1,000 to $2,000 buy-in. There's our current yeah. uh, chip count. It looks like just about uh, everybody. I think everyone did the max with Everybody Garrett. did the max, the 2000 here tonight. Yeah, I think Garrett did 1500 yeah, everyone's locked and loaded, ready to go on this Tuesday night. I'll tell you what, Vic, last week on Tuesday, just geez louise. We had about a 45-minute span where I thought it was just, you're playing war, not poker. <laughs> well, it certainly wasn't bingo. Uh, it was not bingo. It was not no. bingo. Well, that's down the hall. I don't expect bingo being played here tonight at all either. Have you ever fallen in the trap and played war at a casino before? I I have not. I you haven't had that many uh brown that much brown water that make you do it. Don't do it. No, no, I'm not interested in that. I used to play it as a kid all the time. Yeah, and here we go. We got a bump, a three bet now from James up to 150 with Jack 10. And everyone's sharing cards here. Ace 10 gets out of the way. Caleb's coming along in great shape. Buddha Ace Queen sets it aside after limping in. We got heads up action. 330 in the pot. Mr. Josh Black at the helm, and here comes the flop. Ooh, three queen deuce. I can't remember what happened to Taco. This stack is such a yo-yo. Such a run. He's, he's buying it, rebuying it, and winning huge pots. And then rebuying it, and then you know, it just well, drops James and gets the bet this right at the 150. James is going to see about this at the 150. And a check in the dark. That is a big card for James. He gets a gut shot straight draw and a flush draw on the river with a deck, a dark check. Do you go for a free card here, Dom, or do uh, why you not? bet it? If he's going to give it to you. Yeah, he's going to he's gonna take the free card, and but it's blink. no help. Caleb with the check mark next to his name by virtue of that queen, queen jack, and he puts a bet out of 250, it looks yeah, like. Yeah, that's a nice value bet right there. Or 300. 300 is the bet. 
just under half pot. And he gets out of the way, and Caleb, is that three in a row? Well, no, it's uh, three out of the first four hands. Three out of the first four, yeah. Yeah. On fire, welcome back. There is not an open seat. We're um, expecting OG John to come in at any time to uh, take his normal Tuesday night seat nine here for our 5 5 10 no limit hold'em cash game. And we do have a couple of players kind of waiting in the wings to see if anybody busts out. A lot of uh, this game, as you mentioned, this uh, live stream has really been uh, big demand for it. Uh, I see cement, the, oh, no, the no, cement no, no. mixer no, no, no. on the message board. We got MGM Bob in here, too. Who Remember that tunes in. Remember uh, the plucky. Cement. It's not cement. It's concrete. It's concrete. It's concrete. Did, and by the way, did you see the video? Yeah. The, we got the short of MGM Bob with the ace king, ace jack hand with the clucking going on. Two grown men trying to cluck each other for position at the table. <laughs> Instant classic. Uh, thank you, by the way, Motor City Poker, for uh, cutting that up and sending it to me. So this was a uh, $20 button straddle. You got three callers, and Miles checks his option. And we have a Jack 10 4 board, all diamonds, top two pair for Gene, top pair for Buddha with the flush draw going to come along. Looks like we're going to get this heads up. 255 in the middle going to the turn now. Another four. And Gene. That's a nice value on the turn. Heavy favorite going to the river. 11 outs here for Buddha. Oh, oh, boy. Buddha gets there, hits his queen. And just a smooth call there and uh, take it down to showdown. And Buddha will take this. And he's got two wins so far tonight. So, man, Buddha and Caleb yeah. hogging all the profit right now. $955 pot. We don't even have the OG here yet. I think maybe you were already there with a baby one. Those uh, fours, I guess, according to Buddha, slowed them down a little bit. Pocket, uh, a pair of fours there on the board. Five, I encourage everybody to go to the reservepoker.com. That's our website because uh, we've got some great information out there about our three-year anniversary coming up uh, at the end of April as well as the three-year anniversary main event $250,000 guarantee but before we get there March 21st we've got a $100,000 prize pool guarantee the mega bounty and that is a multi-day tournament six day ones we are right around the corner from that Caleb's going to keep the pressure on here utilizing his uh, Big blind position, rather than uh, checking his option, he's going to raise it up. Mr. Pepsi in the house. I see a, the roofer shirt on. I wish I could see the bottom of that. It looks like it's kind of got a Godfather vibe. <laughs> Three players now, 145 in the middle. And we have a Queen 10 5 rainbow board. A pair of 10s currently in the lead for Caleb. Gene's going to call with his gut shot. Has an over. Well, there's a brick. Sure. Yep. Free card now to the river. And oh, Gene and hits the gut shot. Gene gets there. Well, it happened to him last hand where he got rivered. I guess the law of poker is the next time you should be the benefactory. Beneficiary, as I should say. Correct.
All eyes looking west. That tells me that uh, I believe OG John might be taking his seat. That'll complete our nine handed game here tonight. We are going to 11.15. This is a five hour live stream. Test the waters here with a raise. Mm, I don't think so. I, 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 he looks like he's about to get, kick it in. No, is that board? I must say, I thought Mr. Pepsi and Caleb danced. It has been a while. Maybe Caleb it's just forgot. It's, it's been a hot minute since we've been on here. <coughs> I got. I gotta believe that uh, the response inside Gene's hey, that is, go. but Good I fold. know who you are. Want five dollars to show your cards? We got a dealer change right. Tuesday Thanks. night. 5 5 10, no limit hold'em cash game here at the Reserve in Toledo, Ohio. Thanks everybody for joining us for this five hour live stream in the main room. We've got a tournament tonight. It's a $2,000 prize pool guarantee. We call it our, well, I'm going to call it our uh, 20 40 60. Get to buy in for anywhere between that 20 or 40 or 60. Your $20 equals 20,000 in chips and so on, 40 and 60. You drop below 60 and you get to uh, add on. Do this all right at the table. This is the second Tuesday we've been uh, sporting this tournament and it's starting to gain some popularity. Quickly. Yeah, I've been talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, said, I told I him he didn't know you were talking to me. I don't know if he's ignoring me or if he just. I heard you talking. Uh, I was like, I don't know if you're talking to me or you what? You said, can I get some tip chips? And I said, yeah, I saw them where you got them chips. They're right out there. You know, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you just fuck away. And I was just like, I'm just, just kidding. Just joking. You know? He's good. I'm zoned out. Yeah. All right, you focused on the game. That's good. That's a good thing. Yeah. I don't know about that. Stay focused. Four players going to the flop. Eddie in the box. 6-5 Jack, and look at James. Hits mid-pair with a king-high flush draw. Top pair for Buddha. Top pair for Miles. Action flop. Very much action. Four. 25 for Miles. A little Quick spritzer. call there from Buddha with the same hand, except it's not suited. Yeah, just, you know, fluffing up the pot. James now with the flush draw. Now a free card on the river. It looks like it's uh, the queen. Another of queen. Hearts. So that gives James the flush. He's got the flush. He got there. They gave him a free card there on the turn. Yeah, trying to go to the value town here, 75. Oh. I was going to pay him off. Buddha gets out of the way. James, our newest player to the uh, live stream cash game. We did see him in the live stream during our Millie. He made the uh, final table. He ran very deep. Strong player coming to us from uh, Cleveland, Ohio, I believe. And uh, we have any fans out there for this uh, tall young man? Who's out there rooting for James? I know we've got a uh, cheering section here for Miles, sporting his uh, latest team, his hoodie. Probably got some uh, cheering out there for uh, Blake. He's been uh, 
getting quite a, a cheering section from week to week. Oh, yeah, and Scott, he's from uh, – where we, we actually still have it. Yeah, that's where's Blake's it, that? father. Where's Scott from right there? It said City. How do you pronounce it? I don't want to butcher it. Chillicothe. 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 Okay, Chilicothe. yeah. Yeah, he resells on eBay. He's a referee in basketball. Yeah, he was representing the Cincinnati Bearcats on the Millie. I remember that. <laughs> okay, I checked. All right. Five-handed. Nice little pot. Five-handed. We got the shimmy. We got ten, deuce, eight, couple of spades. James flops top pair, top kicker. That's really about it. Bottom pair for courtside Caleb. 150. Not a whole lot out there. I'm not going to lie, Vic. I dealt a James... I swear multiple times because he played multiple day ones. I'm really, I was really anxious to see his cards <laughs> because he did very well in the tournament. And he was having very good results. It's kind of nice, you know, when curiosity kills the cat, you get a little VIP. Caleb got a piece of this with the deuce. He makes the call and then checks in the dark, and the seven of diamonds comes out there. Safe card. Order is still there. Yeah, half pot, pretty standard here, especially with two straight draws. Plus draw out there, make them pay. Now we've seen on past live streams on Caleb where, uh, you know, even though he's got King Deuce right here, don't put it past yourself where he could come over the top if he wants to represent something. Multiple uh, occasions we've seen that, and it's worked for him. quiet in there. Yeah. A lot uh, different from last week. And a lot different from Saturday night. We had a barnyard right. going on there Saturday night. We got Patch in the house. Is that Patch Senior or Patch Junior on the message board? We'll Good it. question. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you might as well tell us what yeah, it is. It's, it's, it's kind of the point. <laughs> we got Blake's father showing him some love on the message board. I don't know, I don't know if it was or not. And some information yeah, really about uh, Chillicothe. It. it was it home was of Easy Rider Rodeo like many years ago. Now the message board coming through. I love it. Dropping Thanks for info. the info. Yeah, that's the oh, the OG patch. Oh, right. Clarified. OG Patch, glad you're doing well. It was nice seeing you and your son on here on Saturday. Hopefully you had a nice birthday. I thought that was pretty cool. You know, it'll be on a uh, poker live stream on your birthday with your son. It's got to be a little highlight. But, you know. I believe OG Patch, too, on his birthday, didn't he? Wasn't he like 900 ahead? Bought in for 500. I think he had 1400 by the end of the live stream. I, I believe so. Now they did continue to go uh, play on after the live stream. Easy game, and sir. playing his position. Seven and a raise with 7 4 diamonds in Good position. Enough. Shows wow. it. Takes down 20 bucks, and a win is a win. Yeah. Yeah, Mark, if you're interested in uh, playing in this live stream, 
or any of our live streams is just as simple as picking up the phone. <laughs> I know that uh, well, luckily, Blake is uh, very so active up there so in the Detroit out. area, putting uh, five, ten games together. So I know he's got quite a following and a number of players that like the same kind of action he does. Gene now is going to limp in with pocket sixes. No undercover pair. Over the court side with the 9-8. And just a call here from Caleb. Oh, no raise this time. I think Caleb and Rhino are probably, arguably, on this live stream, the two all-time leaders in VPIP. Yes. So don't be shocked if, at the end of the live stream, Caleb's VPIP is over 70%. It's been as high, I believe, as 90 percentile when we've had our Omaha live stream a little while ago on Saturday nights. I mean, you give him four cards, he's going to make a reason to see a flop. And we have four players now going to the flop here. With a 9-6-3 board, this is an action-packed board here. Open-ended straight draw on a rainbow flop for courtside. Mid-set for Gene. This one could get big, folks. It's got potential. 55. I got like 1,600 over here. Can we count it down for you? Garrett gets out of the way with this 10 over the Blake, who's got a double belly buster with 9-5. And four of a kind on the turn <coughs> My. for Gene. Now he's really going to be hoping that someone catches up. 250. And he's got about two thirds of the pot. Plate. No, no, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> you fold if Caleb goes all in there, Gene? <laughs> what? What was in that pot, dude? He big Jan Reinhold, no. rooting on, I believe, her husband, Miles. That's more of a kind for Mr. Pepsi. Did you like the turn? Uh, did you like the turn? No. Yes. <laughs> I like the straight out there. I, I'm like, you know. it took you so long to say yes. <laughs> you don't like having quads? Oh, my gosh. I, did, I wouldn't have liked the turn. Okay. For what? Pretty much killed every, all your action. Kind of. Kind of. Did Caleb just say he wouldn't have liked to turn if he would have turned quads? <laughs> Interesting. Locks up the hand for you. Don't have to worry about a straight hitting. Someone has a set. Turns the boat. You get paid off. And speaking of pocket pairs, now Caleb, sevens. He's going to limp in. In the hijack position, Garrett coming yeah, along with 3-4. And now Scott sure. from Chillicothe oh, has the option. He's got king-queen. He's reaching for raising chips. I am. <laughs> and the bet is now 70. Yep, punish the limpers. Get rid of the dead money. Watch the stream. You see what a fold that you want to play with. I give you some action, but I wouldn't be surprised. That bet you. narrows yeah, no the field. Now we're way, heads up action it's between Scott and Caleb. I've seen some pretty We got a 10 6 9 board, couple of spades. Yikes. Court side. Flopping the best of it. That's a gut shot to go along with his pair. He's first to act here. I like that mindset. You're smart, man. It is. Actually, I take that back. Scott checked. Caleb bet. Now 315 in the pot. Ooh, there's a queen. And he checks it. I feel like you like that queen, huh? I'll let you know. Here, Ooh, I'll the check. spider. The spider senses. Okay. Going, oh, and there's a king of spades. Top two pair now for Scott. I don't think neither one of us wanted to see that one. You agree because you laughed? Not quite sure. Well, yeah, it does put like a straight out there. We're going to see, yeah, 
<laughs> We're going to see a curiosity bet here from Caleb. Caleb's calling out the whole hand right now. He's curious to see if maybe he does does have the best hand with the sevens. No, no, he, he basically said he knows he doesn't have the best hand. If he bets, he goes, you're going to call. If I, if I don't bet, I know I'm, I'm losing. So he basically said that out loud. Yeah. Did, did, did this move check. Called out that he liked the queen. Well, his spider senses are on right now. Yeah. Staying out of trouble. Good enough. Anthony Halt. Where are you watching from, Anthony? Sitting in the lazy boy. Like DFG. We're going to try not to ask you too often, but now with over 100 viewers, let's get some more like buttons hit. Greatly appreciate it. We know we can get uh, at least to 100 tonight. Tuesday nights, such a great show here at the Reserve. Five, five, ten, no limit hold'em cash game. One thousand to two thousand dollar buy-in. Go until eleven fifteen. Yeah, Neil Brakeman, aka Mr. Coffee, must be feeling better. Didn't remember last week. It took him. We even said Eddie was dealing at the box for about ten minutes. He didn't ask his didn't, technical yeah, question. Right. Well, it didn't take long this time. So no. Neil, glad you're feeling better. Don't even need to ask if you're back to hundred percent. Clearly, you are. And over the gene with ace-10. He's going to come along for the ride. we got three players now. And look at that flop. Ace-6. Ace, couple of spades. So courtside. Picking up a flush draw. Gene. This could Flops get messy. But so far they checked oh, it around. And we just saw again. four of a kind. Five, what, five minutes ago from Gene? Yeah, Gene And had he gets sixes. it again? And now he's got four aces. Caleb going to bet into it, figure out where he's at here. It, uh, James is going to float, thinking if he hits a queen or jack, he'll be good for 50 bucks. Put some elevator music in here. Hmm? And you have to be thinking, Maybe he doesn't have it twice, right? And he's not slow playing for the second time as quads. He shows the ace two times in five minutes, ten minutes. Mr. Pepsi getting quads. Oh, so you just don't gotcha, guys. So he just doesn't want quads. That's what. That's yeah, that's what I get. He wants quads. That's not what he's saying. He's understanding my terms. I know. I know what you guys are saying. Relax. <laughs> you know, Twenty-five straight off. Let's do it. I'll Selfish. You guys don't Slow want to play it one time, Gene. See if he hits a queen or a jack. It's not. It's not. Yeah, I. I is it pretty dry board? Yeah, I think he may look at both of those situations with the quads. The straight. I, I, I root for the guy because he's – Mr. Pepsi's the man. Let, let's not forget Mr. Pepsi, too, with his roofing company, is one of our biggest donators for our veterans tournament. That's the type of guy he is. So you're talking to a gentleman calling this action. I'm a huge Mr. Pepsi guy. Helps out the veterans. Comes in here with a positive attitude. Gene, I'm just saying. That's or crazy. Now. We've never set, seen that on the live stream. I know. Ten. Ace, jack, rainbow board right here. Top pair for Miles. Four gives a gut shot to Gene. The way he's running. You take it down. Court side with nine highs. Going to get creative. And a call there from Buddha with the gut shot. Miles still with the check mark. He bets full pot pretty much. I could get the bluff. Wow, through. when he gets yeah. Miles to lay that down. Oh, I've been waiting for that. Oh, shit, I thought I had queen four. <laughs> You're still good, buddy. Really? Wow. He just said you're still ahead. 
Call with a pair of fours? I was calling with a pair of fours, yeah. I guess queen high pair of fours, same thing. Right? Hey, it all worked out for you. Yeah. Now you're really going to play with him. Snap calling him with queen high? What did I just see? I'm on the and he takes that down with Queen High. <laughs> Miles over there. Wow. So wait. Buddha did make the call. He did make Mr. the call, but hand. he thought he was making the call with Queen 4. He thought right, he was Buddha. making it with a 4. Hey, and a 4 on the 4. But he makes the call, and he's still good with Queen I was, High. I was wondering what was going on. I thought he was just showing his hand like he was last to fold. Yeah. That's the way it looked like. No, that was a call. Wow. Yeah, Bunny Box, I agree with you. What the heck is going on there? But So this is just a weird vibe Tuesday, i got to so say, so far. far. We've seen four of a kind <laughs> twice in ten minutes. That's what Miles was chasing. we got Buddha thinking that he has queen four when he had queen three, and he's still good <laughs> calling a, whole, a full 250 when there's 255 in the pot. <laughs> and we're not even an hour into this. No. This I, is, you yeah. turned it over so proudly, I... Well, like I said, whole mood out or something tonight. Miles, 8-5 of spades. You'd think after that last hand, he might uh, decide to raise. When you've got an aggressive player. Your V pitch 100. There's no way that you can have something every fucking second. Your king is remember. And as he points out, his V pip is way up. The Caleb's is way up there. How is it that he could have something every single hand? And this time he raises with King Three of Hearts. He gets three callers, 240 in the pot. Well, and he smacks this one. Bottom smacks pair with the it. flush draw. Just smacks it. However, Miles in the meantime. Open it's, ender. It's an open ender. Good call, Miles. Gina's bottom pair. He's out kicked though. Gene. Gene. <laughs> I'm curious to see if Buddha would have floated one just to see if he could get runner runner heart. And he didn't, so good fold. There's a 10 of diamonds, though. 325. Caleb's still ahead with the king three. It's a bad fold. Yeah, maybe. What I have. I have no idea. You play every goddamn hand you get dealt. <laughs> You're possible to not read. It's absolutely impossible to show you. Add a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I don't want to fucking miles chase me down all over. Nine high. Eight high. Fair enough. I got it. I'm coming. And thank you for those uh, thumbs up. We appreciate it. Like to see that continue to grow as the night goes on. This is the 5-5-10, the Limit Hold'em cash game. We are the reserve, Toledo, Ohio. And we got some new, we got John F. on the message board. Yes. Edward, Eric D., yes. Bunny Box, Matthew. Some names there we on haven't here. seen before. Welcome. Yeah. Thank welcome, you for welcome. joining us. Thanks for joining. We love all your interaction on the message board, especially with this poker live stream, one thing we like to do different, we don't like to be a cookie cut, you know, poker live stream. We like to interact with the message board or viewers as much as possible, especially in between hands. And back to the action here, we have four players going to the flop, 40 in the middle. And we got a queen, deuce, king board, two pair for James. Get sore ass and everyone else wants to read it. Bottom of the B pit. Bottom third of the B pit every week. Back in that spot, it's pretty good spot overall. Simple little bet of 25 takes it down. James coming us to, to us from uh, Cleveland. You might have seen him uh, when you were watching the the Millie, our day three. He ran well, ran deep in that. Yeah, that is true. I one coming. And oh, Wild Bill tuning in all the way from Perrysburg, Ohio. It's been a while. Hey, Bill. Thank, thank you, Wild Bill. There's a shot of the main room. Now, oh, there's Anthony Halt there sitting at uh, table eight, seat eight. Tonight is the Tuesday night $2,000 prize pool guarantee tournament started at 6 o'clock tonight. Maybe we should get about four tables for that. I would think so. Check. 
Buddha you just raised right there, but be happy. Threw me off. Be happy. Bit. Think happy. Be. Oh wow, that's amazing. What is it? Yes, sir. Think happy. Be happy, baby. Oh, sure. It's all it takes. It's a state of mind. Happiness. A state of mind. I like it. Check all the way around. A free card to the turn. Caleb says, let's get something in there. Get caught up here, see what the turn was. Looks like a four. And it was, and now Garrett's got the, uh, should have the check mark here with his seven. And he bets it and takes it down. Uh, Brandon, uh, we just have camera there in the uh, main room where we kind of keep track of things. Uh, we don't have the ability to live stream. We live stream here at this table. It's a separate room if you haven't been here before. We do have two other tables in here as well that we utilize for our tournaments. With these three tables, we have 17 tables that we utilize for our very big tournaments. And our bigger tournaments, oftentimes, we'll do this as a feature table and always winding up as a final table. Is that 50 to go? That's a $50 button straddle. Then he brought the same card back out. Then he brought the same card back out, right? Miles now with King Queen. And then he beat me. What? Twice in a row. And Miles is going to make the call with the king queen. It was river, not, not turn. And then, uh, yeah. But I lost the end. Oh, my God. Gene. Wasn't it ace seven that he had earlier where he uh, did get quad aces? He's already had quad sixes. Now Gene's going to raise it up to 250. At ace ten. He got it with ace ten and pocket ace ten. That's right. So now we're going to go heads up. Your hand's way better than mine. Already 570 in the pot. And we got a 10 king, 5 rainbow board, Vic. And a free card. And a free card. <laughs> Let's and see it again. Caleb gets there. And if this goes down to a showdown, Caleb's going to take down another pot. Yeah, 570 in the middle, too. Miles, once again, I think kicking himself. He did have the king, he did call the 50, but then he didn't call the raise. Oh. No. No, we're approaching now about 45 minutes into the live stream. And I said, give it an hour for the two new faces, and courtside Caleb will loosen up the action. They, I, I think they're going to see that they can pretty much call with whatever they want. And like I said, he has a range that's wide open. He switches it up well, and right now he's dictating the pace of the whole table. MGM Bob is not in the house tonight. I have an inkling that we would probably see him on Thursday night. That's our next live stream. That is also a five-hour live stream. That's a 1-3 no limit held of cash game. See, Canada's in the house. JF says reserve fam. Canada is in the house. Good evening, Dom and Vic. JF, hope you're doing well, buddy. Marty asks a really good question. When are we going to see JF in the live stream again? Yeah, I know he did say he's going to try to make it down here again you know, price man. within a year or so. Come on. I asked you not to. Hopefully sometime this summer. In the spring. Five-handed going to the flop. And we have a 10-3 king board. The sixes, I think, are, uh, oh, no, the king here for Caleb, and he hits this flop. So he's going to bet it. 175. What are we going to do? Just give chips back and forth? Well, I don't want you to hit quads again. Go ahead. I'm straight. Check, check. Here comes a free card. Two pair. What is uh, it? Caleb, look at this. He's running so well. Gene bets right into him. 100 bucks. More. Make it 400. Wow. 
good. Hey, JF, glad to hear that. That is Jay. Coming around the uh, July 4th Thanks, time Eddie. period. And uh, yeah, that'll yeah, be right, right by our veterans no. uh, <laughs> tournament, too, huge, in the area. Was uh, Ivan, and was Ivan the buddy that you was with you last time, JF? I did. I apologize that I don't remember. Dealer change, top of the hour. Young Patrick. Bomb pot. Everybody in for 25. We are eight handed right now, waiting for. Uh, OG to come in or anticipating him to come in anytime soon. So eight-handed means we're going to see a double board bomb pot. Everybody, Annie's up for 25. Everybody gets four cards. Man, we saw, not even just on Tuesday and Thursday, we saw some monster bomb pots oh, change yes. just the whole complexion of the table with a chip shifted around. We saw a 12,000 plus <laughs> bomb pot recently. I liked it. King 8-7, a yeah. couple of diamonds, fought with a Queen seven eight rainbow board. <laughs> There's scooping potential here, Vic. Oh, my goodness, eight seven on both boards. Caleb checks. James got two pair with the queen seven on the top. Well, I was curious to see if someone would have like he's going to check it. Jack ten nine, you know, in their hand, but not much there for Garrett Blake. Open ended on both of these boards. Yeah, with the pair of eights. Oh, top set for Scott. He's going to play a little pot control, though, right now. Yep, and see check what the it all the way is. around. Now spades come into play on one of the boards. Again. All I see is Blake, really, with a 10-high flush draw, though. Right. Anybody got jack six? What about jack ten? I don't see Jack 10 anywhere. No. Well, courtside Caleb has pocket 10, so those are some blockers. Love this bet from Scott. Sharing, you don't, you know, they always say sharing is caring, not in poker. Try to take it down now. You got one locked up. You don't have to chop it with anybody. Yeah, Blake has an interesting situation here where he could feel like he's in business on both boards with the eights. He also has, you know, 10 nine, so he's got two pair on one board with an open under. got an open ender with a flush draw on the other board. Potential to scoop, actually. Very much in the game. He's going to call. Pop Bruin, folks. 1,200 in the middle, and we're going to go to a river on both boards. And the flush does get there, and now the jack for the straight. All of a sudden, Blake in scooping position.
And now roll reversal. Scott, can he get away from this? Face on for Bl for Blake. He's not giving away anything. Scott, you never like calling just for a chop, and I think right now he knows that's the best case situation. What a great river for Blake on both boards. And he lets it go. Good fold, Scott. It hurts. It hurts, but you'll see he made a good fold, sir. And Blake's going to profit out of that $1,200 pot, seven twenty-five. So a nice swing for him. Gets him up to 2500 in front of him. Feeling good? He's like when... Pots full of green chips. I didn't actually want to call, but I had to. But OG in the time round chair. He's going to have to run lap. I had diamonds on the top and three pair on the bottom. I almost called. Three pair? Jeez. Way ahead of me, then. <coughs> yeah, you can do Good to you. Are they any good, Buddha? Gene? Yeah. Oh, you want it? Too late? Yeah, man. You want it? You want it? Yeah, you can have it. Who won that bomb pop? Gene getting back just in the nick of time. Going to look down at Ace Queen. A little run good. Uh, three spades on the top, and the bottom came the jack, which put a bigger straight out there. Fuck me. You got King Ten of spades? Oh. I had King Ten. Oh yeah, you would have, you would have had the, the nut straight on the bottom, but you had nothing working on top. I don't care. Chopping it. You're not supposed to call the chopping it. Oh, yeah, you're right. I agree with Buddha. You're not supposed to call for chops in that game. Get you in trouble. You play worse. Call, if you call the chop, it's better than this. I love everybody play their own game. That's a right, wrong, easy. Exactly. And we got heads up action now. Caleb versus Gene. Ace four versus ace queen. And we have a 8 10 king board rainbow flop. You agree with my Gene again? Gene's still firmly in the lead. And there's a nine of clubs. Check, check, all the way down to the river. When the jack comes from Broadway. Running good, buddy. Running good, but you're only off 100 bucks. Shit, I'm down. You've got quads twice. How can you be down? Because nobody's paying. It's because you you got the only cards that could call you. Four cards out of four cards. Right. He had all the all the aces in the wind yet. You gotta, you gotta wait for somebody to catch up. Cool. No, I'm getting something. <laughs> See? Don't worry, Garrett. They don't listen. You can give them all the lessons you want. They never listen. They just keep playing bad. Oh, you didn't bump me. Hey, I have a look at my hand. Stop. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, my gosh. Right. Pull that shit out of here. Oh, fuck. As you can hear, guys, poker is sometimes Dr. Phil lessons at the table. Players try to tell you how to play, try to give you lessons while you're playing and while they're trying to take your money. These are, like I said, what I call Dr. Phil moments. I think everywhere you go and play poker, there's always a couple. We'll just call him that guy. 
I told you I was. Or that girl. I wish I had Rick. I wish I had Brad. I don't fucking know it. I knew what was going on. I didn't see where I was going. You said you won the championship and you're never playing again. I did that for a reason. Why did you get to the back? Oh, man. We got. Blake's dad on the message, message board put him on blast for stuff he did when he was a kid. Oh, that's cold. Action flop here. Buddha and Blake are in a hand right now. Blake with the nuts. Flopped it. Buddha with queens and overpair. And Buddha leading out 500 right into him. The best feeling in poker. You flop the nuts, and he bets pot. And here comes Blake. Debating, should I smooth call? Should I raise? Can't say there's ice on the roads. I'm on the All in on the set. I have the nuts. Oh my god. Oh. Uh, yeah. Twice. Buddha's going to need the board, the pair, to give him any hope or hit a queen. It matters. See? Good. It matters. It could. Go fade to raise. I'll say one out of ten times you win this hand. Also could get runner. And they are going to run it twice. Oh. And a whiff. Blake on a heater, by the way. Yes. Fifty-one hundred dollar pot. Just picked up a twelve hundred dollar pot in the bomb pot moments ago. And just like that, Blake is skyrocketing through this live stream. Nice play. Congratulations on the ham. Shout out to Kiwi for just getting in. Young Patrick gets this all sorted out for us tonight. We want to thank everybody again for coming out, joining us for the 5 5 10 No Limit Hold'em Cash game. Our next live stream will be Thursday night, our regular, I mean, our um, No Net Thursday. That's a 1 3 game, $500 buy in. Anyone interested in playing in our cash game live streams regularly Tuesday night, Thursday night, and Saturday night, it's as simple as picking up the phone and giving us a call. you in trouble. <laughs> Have you seen the last few streams? Oh, it's my straddle. $25 straddle. $25 straddle and play, it sounds like I heard. Garrett's going to come in. Miles making the call. Here we go. Bumping and now a raise here from Gene. Gene, Gene, the Pepsi machine. Yeah. With pocket queens. Ladies going around the table, Vic. Speaking of ladies, there is one in uh, courtside Caleb's hand. He's got two spades, so he's coming along. Garrett had limped in with the jack-10, and he's going to come along. Miles limped in on the button with the mystery hand, but lets it go. So we're going to go three-handed here to the flop. 430 already in the pot. Four, eight, jack, 
couple of clubs. He had a Buddha hand. Set. This could be trouble for Garrett. Two the other way around. Two fifty. Two fifty. They have the fifty compared. You have the set. Mm-hmm. Well, you fucked the straight. Heads up now, going to the turn 680 in the middle, and we have a five of hearts. Ball in here from Gene. Two clubs and two hearts out there, and he wants to kind of shut this down. Are they happy for you? Uh, My friends always watch it. I'm saying, are they happy for you? No. Want to see me do Let's see if uh, Gene shows this or not. And either that was a good oh, yeah, guess or he did show the two yeah. cards. I think it was the power of the Buddha. I didn't see him show. If you're new to our live stream, just a couple of uh, technical things to cover here. We are on a 15-minute delay. Every player is uh, required to put their phones on the shelf without the uh, with the ringers off. Yes. No smart watches. These cards have a, a chip in them. The rectangle in front of each player is the chip reader. Got to make sure you get them in the box so we can uh, see what those cards look like. Dom and I are seeing this action at the same time you are. Oh, yeah. Everything that happened just 15 minutes ago. In sync. I ran out to uh, just do a check on the tournament, and uh, OG John was walking in, so we're going to see him coming in to sit down shortly. Oh, look at this flop. We got a Jack 4 5 rainbow board, two players flopping top pair, courtside Caleb and Buddha. Oh, I'm talking to you. I understand. I there's other every hand. I know. No, no, no. While we play, I don't care. While you're playing with other people. Buddha, you just want to call me all the way down, huh? Oh, I got a hand. Try 50. Put an ace out there. Two peas in a pod right there, and yes. look at that. It's going to be a chop pot with the four pairing. Both players using the king. Brian Bishop in the house. Yeah, Mark's in here, too. Well, just saying, right? You're not going to raise Queen Jack free flop? Uh, he didn't. Just like, just like, you know how like, you have a feeling you're going to win? Maybe he didn't have a good feeling. Well, out of position, that's a good hand. Yeah, if you just tune in too, smash that like Buddha, button. I always I appreciate you. it, guys. I always you. have a goal of 100. Helps us with the YouTube algorithm. Get out there just for random people to check us out. That's pretty much how we grow. And thanks to you guys, that's the reason why we're here. Garrett's going to top off here, add a little bit more to his stack. Everybody bought in for the 2,000, so we started out tonight. 16,000 on the table. Another 2,000 coming in here shortly with OG. Do you think that was the OG factor? He saw him walk through the door and he's like, I just want to add to my stack. Could be. I mean, <laughs> could be. $40. You know, he knows the price of poker is going up. Scott, pocket fives, raising up to 40. I like it. I do like that. And only one caller, and you can guess who it is. Courtside. Heads up. Here comes the flop. 95 in the middle on a 10 king three board. Couple of clubs. Is that what I sound like? No, no, no. I was just, I was making fun of myself. I was like, when the hell did I get Don't go too big, bro. I'm not going to call you. That's his contract. I like it. I like it. No, you should have just kept the same bet. Same bet's not a bet. That's what they'll tell you. Is that true, Patrick? Oh, yeah. Technically, that is a uh, that is a part of the rules. Uh, announcing same bet isn't necessarily a bet. Not something that's enforced too often, but um, it's a very good point. You know me, Dom. I'm a rules guy. You're late. 
We got laps. Slow down, John. We don't run laps. We don't have a seat for you, sir. I almost took it. Like the good we'll give old it to days. Travis. And as if the action hasn't been uh, hot enough tonight, OG John coming in, and the dynamics are about to change. Not significant, but just enough. Hey, Marcus, how are you doing out there, buddy? Gene raises to 60 with ace queen. Caleb and Garrett are going to come along. Yeah, the 5 3 suited hits bottom pair. Takes the lead on a 10 7 5 board. Couple of hearts. Oh, and there's the queen free card for Gene, and it pays off. It's ladies' night for Gene tonight. Yeah, he's getting all the ladies. Here we go. Pocket Queens has ace, ace Queen twice now sure. early on in the live stream. That guy to your right, Jonathan's had quads twice tonight. Like in, uh, three hands. What are you doing, man? How are you doing? Uh, Caleb updating OG John, and uh, we can update the rest of you if you're just joining us. He is right. Gene quads twice already in the first hour. And it was like five to ten minutes apart. Yes. Pocket sixes and ace ten. Get him there. I straddle the six finals. Hey, he had a read. Technically, he did have a read. Technically. I thought pocket fours were good. Pocket fours? You mean a four? A two, two fours. Pocket fours. Pair of passes. OG's first hand, 7 6 offsuit, going to limp in. Call the $25 button straddle. The option now to Caleb. Says go ahead, so we're four handed going to the flop. Quite an array of hands here, including the nemesis for James. Yeah, 4 3 3 on the flop. Wow. I'm sorry, queen 3-3. Three, three. Why did I say 4? I'm not sure. I think I was listening to Buddha talk, just talking about 4s, and for some reason it was still in my mind. I have no reason to say that, but yeah, queen 3-3. Three, three. All right, good. Check that. You'll like that. You'll like that bomb pop. This is a match the stack, so OG John coming in with 3 grand instead of the 2. You play in the bottom? You didn't you, you, you have a piece of the top? Uh, I nothing. Oh no, you were playing the top. You were playing the top. You were playing the king high board. Yeah, that's the You were playing the top. Yeah, top. You were playing the top. Wow. OG with the gut shot. He's going to bet 90. Okay. That's a classic OG move right away for Sandy plays. Oh, yeah, the other one. Interesting. I want to look at that hand again. I picked that high. Look at that. Shuffle. 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 First hand, takes down the pot. Seven highs, good John enough. has announced his presence with authority. Garrison, you asked a good question. We have that. Uh, we try to get that feedback from time to time. Pocket twos, pocket threes, what people think about that. I've expressed uh, my displeasure with both of those hands, uh, unless it's uh, certain circumstances. Game is very situational. Hard to make a blanket statement, but... People yeah. have certain yeah. hands that yeah. they say, okay, I'm never going to play that. Yeah. This, of course, is just a battle of the blinds, but I, I'm Garrison. I, I'm glad you asked that. I am interested. We've got a great chat board going on here tonight, and I'm, I am as Active. well interested to find out what people think. Hey, McDonald's get a glass of water and two straws. We'll have a big time. I like it. Get our fish Connecticut, right there, in right the there, right there, in the house. Thanks again for joining us again. I saw Marcus on there too. Nice position raise here from James on the button with Jack Nine. He's going to take it up to uh, 50. 
Blake having one heck of a night so far. But he's not going to make that call. OG John, a couple of clubs. And of course, Caleb coming along with another hand with clubs. The Doyle. We got a six, eight, nine board, couple of space. So couple of gut shots too, but top pair for James. Yeah, the pre-flop aggressor hits top pair, Jack Kicker. Or a seven. Three of spades. Going to Value Town now. Betting just over half pot. Caleb lets it go and James. Picks it a nice one. Continue to get uh, some more viewers here tonight. Many new ones. We love to see that. We love to see this uh, participation on the chat board. Conversation uh, currently, what do you think of pocket threes, pocket twos? You like them? You don't like them? Speaking of uh, pocket pair, there is Gene now. Pocket fours, and boy, he has picked up sixes tonight, queens. Now fours. 3-6 Th Mafia five. bumping it up to 45. Friendly and John. And friendly. Yeah, now in the cutoff, James with a nice Social hand. Yeah. He's 10 of clubs. Garrett behind him, too, with Queen Jack. This yeah, could be an action flop, Vic, especially the more players call. Nice. Well, this is a raise here Ooh. from James. He definitely doesn't want to... Uh, some of the uh, limpers to come in with some weak hands, so he's going to raise this up. I like this play. He, he, I like this play a lot. He, he was looking like he was just going for calling chips, and all of a sudden 150 goes out there. I understand what he's just focused. I get it. I understand. I played with him. I'm sorry. I'm, you're real, right. I'm, no, I'm really sorry. You're, I think you're lying. I think you're 100% fucking all that blows. Yeah. Queen high. Heads up action. I always like when the guy's the initial raiser tells the guy, well, if you want to keep raising, because he gets three raised. Yeah. And we got a, a classic. And we got a queen 8 7 rainbow board. Continuation bet here from James. 150. Another good question from Garrison. Garrison, we have this conversation. And by the way, we'll uh, do a shout out to uh, Tyler, the chosen one, in the production booth when you get a chance. Give us a view of that V-PIP. Pretty sure that uh, Caleb right now is uh, at least above 90%. And right. there it is. 95. You ask, and there it is. He, he has, you know. And I'm not surprised. Uh, I agree with that. Him and well, Rhino are poker buddies, and on here, they almost have like an inner competitiveness, probably when one's watching the other one, who can have the highest V pip, I'm, I'm sure. Is that what you fold for? Came all this way to fold? That hand, yeah. So that's fair enough. I'm studying. I'm we see. Uh, what? Oh, a fold from Caleb. Garrison, we see some uh, low V pips that do very well, and that was the case Saturday night. 
with a couple of players that were, you know, down maybe below 20% or in the low 20s, but still having a good night profit-wise. Well, when they played, they were big hands. Three players now, Vic, and no monsties. Just a couple of average hands here on a King 7 deuce board, all diamonds. Gene with the jack high flush draw. Free card, eight of hearts. John go back further than you and John go back. I'm, I'm sure, actually, young man. Don't forget who started. Another free card. And that's Miles the now with the jack nine gets the straight. Going to bet 50, but I don't really see any callers coming this way. I wasn't even a thought back then, probably. You were still jumping. I probably was still in the womb or something. You were still jumping nuts. Oh, yeah, definitely still in the womb. It's late. You were still jumping nuts and nuts. Do we want Miles for the fucking pot? I can't win the pot tonight. I was going to say, if it was Miles call, that scared me. I'm glad they called. Nice hand, Miles. DFG, I'm going to take the over on that. He's uh, picking the uh, over-under on Caleb's VPIP at 78%. I'll take the over. Yeah. I think the real line should be 85%. Now that's a good line. Oh, look at that, Blake. Tearing it up, up 3,100. He's hogging all the profit. James though still is up over 500, but other than that, everyone trying to get their money back. <laughs> all, all cash on the table, you know, tips, you know. You keep forgetting to remind me. Did you want to this time? I did. See? By my quick count, we're uh, well above 20000 on this table. Last Tuesday, the action was just very heavy, and we got to uh, 37 We got to... Uh, I walk over there and look, watch them for a minute, and I'm like, these guys are out of their mind. What are they doing? They could lose all their chips in one hand. They're crazy maniacs. Don't let them push you around like that, John. Now they don't even deal with that stuff anymore. I'm going to do this Blake character. See, it could be my favorite hand. Stud. We have a jack eight five board, couple of spades, two players with top. Oh, I'm sorry, Gene with top two pair, OG John with top pair, Miles with top pair also, with queen jack. Oh, going down the line of hands, it just keeps going. And look at this open ender for Blake. Oh, the cops knew about bomb pots. They'd come in and bust. Miles with a nice hold, gets out of the way. Now back to Gene with top two pair. And if he's going to keep the same type of style, he, uh, we expect a race here. Probably not going to smooth call. Six hundred the boot. They got the music on for you, Garrett. Still don't understand how six years old is printed out or not. Dance with the music. Have you ever watched them? Yeah. They're like halftime shows. Find out where you're at. Now over the Blake. I think ah, I should just smooth call to see a card. Don't blame him though, representing. They see what Gene has. Take his hand in disguise, just backfired there, but switching it up a little bit. And Gene taking it down. Nice hand, nice pot. Profit's about 500. You didn't want nobody in that one, huh? Mm. What do you think about that, Blake? I hear your thoughts on that hand. Oh, I don't have any thoughts. Uh, I just lie. I can see it. Your fucking hands are driving a million miles. I thought we talked about it a couple weeks ago. You're not supposed to raise unless you take the re-raise. 
Jeans. That's right. That's what the Jeep taught me. That's old school, John. Is it? Yeah, the new kids, they don't believe in that. They don't believe in that, huh? No. That's right. They're talking well, about getting value. What's value? If I'm in, I'm in. Yeah. I mean, you got to be in the win, Mike. Like I can't. Way, I can't. There, five dollars a call. He needs like he needs a little bit more back. She not pair. looking down at Queen Jack. <laughs> OG John with a pair of sixes. A couple of nice playable hands back. here. I might be able to squeak out a call if you were the razor to six hundred. One hundred five. But not yeah. not Jean. He had yeah, the flush enough flush draw. One hundred five total. Yep. Yeah, one hundred five. There you go. What's that? Is that top draw? Or, 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 he told us top two. 325 in the middle. We have a 5-king-king king board. I didn't put him on a draw. OG. Flopping the best hand with two pair. Top two is the same thing. Yeah. Crazy, we all had it. Three of us had it, yeah. Yeah. Try that shit, John. John takes it down. Knew you were the OG. I thought Gene had quad kings again. Hey Gene, how many times are you going to get good hands over there, bud? I'm sure it's going to run out real quick. We all I just hope it shifts right directly at me. Or <laughs> beside you. Listen. Should I go first? I guess what it is. It's taking all my cards. I can mess it up my stack. Hey, I'll get that. I'll get you back. Maybe 10 bucks in there. Well, I'll try to look at him and tell him what I got. Tell me what I got. I'm going to play my hand. Help me out a little bit. All right? I'll bump your knee. What do I got to do? I'll bump your knee. Bunch of suited cars going around. Garrett's coming in with a clean diaper. That's what I'll do. I'm going to get the call the ring. Oh, now you got to look. Raise a 55. Are you driving the speed limit? Driving drunk or are you driving the speed limit? We'll find out. Oh, well, I would like to find out now before it costs me any more money. <laughs> you got one eye open, or are they both? Just, just, just a head shake, all right. I got to call you. 55. 55. All right, we're in there. We're in there. Fishy, fishy, five. And we got four players, 230 in the middle. Scott bumped it up to 55. And we got a queen, jack, six board, a couple of clubs. Ace, queen, flopping top pair, top kicker, top, top. Top of the morning to you. Top of the evening. 110. Let's it go. Going around the table. Blake now with the gut shot to Broadway. Looks like he's got floating chips. Yep, he's going to float one. There's a brick. Spades. Yeah. Great card for Scott. Out of the way, and Scott's going to take that down. Profit just under 300 there. Nice hand. Right here at the table <laughs> between Buddha and courtside. <laughs> Riding the bowl, feeling the flow, hey, working it. Working it. I'm about time somebody else straddle with me today. Buddha won't do it. Garrett won't do it. Miles is the only person who did it with me. Ain't that crazy? I'll do, I'll do a round. I'll do a round if we want to do a round. We should just do a mandatory. Mando? Uh, yeah. I'm down if everyone's down. If everyone's down. One, one hand. It's already down. Wow. 
Three blind games for Garrett games. fucking. What happened to him, John? He, he, <laughs> What'd you guys do to this kid? <laughs> he softened up on us, buddy. He's got a sore ass <laughs> you don't get you don't gamble or nothing anymore? Yeah. We got four so players I, I, I going to the I flop, one fifteen in the middle. He has to start with a minimum pocket. And we yeah. have a Jack Queen no, 10 no, no. Rainbow Board yeah, like Vic. Said, you Top pair for Caleb. Okay. Mid pair with a gutter for Miles. Well, open ender for OG. A little bit of everything. Yeah, look at the possibilities here. John makes the call with the open ender. The way, the way that you were bumping, the way He's got six outs. And he hits it. OG John doing what OG John does. Yes, you needed a king. You were absolutely right. Good call there, Caleb. Calls for the king and gets it, and they get a chop pot. You had all the way. I think you should give it. You know, give him the extra five. Because he had to the eight. I agree with that. Give it to him. For me, Kara, thank you. Good job, John. Thank you. Need that king, buddy. I was in bad shape. I'd rather see you got an eight. Well, I'd rather see you get a not to turn your fucking straight. How about that? I don't know. You get a straddle plate file. Oh, Maybe the heavy king, man. Yeah. Third king of I'll restraddle. <laughs> you can't, can't do it in the blind. Can't do it in the blind. No, really? Yeah, yeah, that's what we tried the other day. Where fucking rules are these? It's like Jim or everywhere else in the world. Bro. On the blind. Obviously. Just fucking around. Whatever, man. There's the button straddle. Wow. I can't see this because. Now, Miles now. picking up pocket now. aces. He's been patient. He's fucking, he has been patient. He's doing a lot of crying for doubling up already. Oh, Raising it up to 125. I know, right? Yeah, Scott, four pocket fours. Curious to see how OG and uh, Caleb go, because, I mean, when you got Miles who hasn't played a hand, raising up, you kind of know if you hit the flop, you can get paid off. Sometimes. And here we're just talking about pocket threes. OG. Ooh. John gets him in the cutoff and makes the call. Buddha with King 10. He's going to call. Oh boy, Dom, we got a pot brewing here. And 6.30 in the middle, Vic. Big handler? I check. Big hand alert. Checking the dark. And a jack right in the window, fought with a four and a queen. Oh boy, Miles. Open ended straight draw for Buddha. Same for Garrett. Just under a third of the pot there. Making it pretty reasonable for an open ender to come along for another card. Yeah, I can't complain about that price. Buddha's coming along. I think Garrett likes it too. And now a deuce of clubs. And all three players have a club in their hand. Miles and Buddha. With the ace and the king, Garrett with the nine. Oh, I thought I might. I thought we might see an all in there from Miles. Wow! And here comes Buddha betting eight hundred. And Miles, I mean, it's either shove or fold here. asking for Kara to spread that pot out, get a sense of what's in there. And it's tough because Buddha's one of the players that has a table image where normally he is better than the pair beat if he does this move. We've seen it more than once on this live stream, and I think if it was another player at the table, Miles would have already had his chips with the all-in button. Right.
The only reason why it's taking so long now is because it's the power of the Buddha. Of course, we have the advantage of uh, seeing the cards. We know how far Miles is ahead in this hand. Shows him the ace. Normally that's a fold. Yeah, normally when he does that, that's a fold. And Buddha with the bluff there shows King 10. And yeah, it would have held. The aces would have held. And Buddha with the bluff. Trying to make a big comeback, make a comeback here after that big pot between he and Blake. Caleb asking that question: Did you really fold aces with the ace of club like a disappointed father looking at his son? <laughs> yeah, we got the Philippines checking in with us. Right. Oh, really? Oh, Villanueva. It's been a while. It has been a while. Villanueva, thanks for tuning in. All the way from the Philippines. Appreciate you. Yeah. Motor City in the house. Thanks again, Motor City, for that short that you cut up for us. I like how James is mixing it up here now in the small blind. He's going to raise to 45 with 8-5 of hearts. Yeah. There it makes the call quickly. <coughs> Blake yeah, now push, looking to complete with 35 with the king queen. On the turn, you're or is he considering a, a three bet here? Wait, you call two, 125 and 200. Usually you, you have ace to beat right there. Or you hit your point. Eight or nine right. And nine. he does raise it up. Yeah. 180 right, is the three bet, bet now. Folds all the way around now. Back to James. Has Garrett behind him. 135 to make this call. He's out of position to Blake as well. I feel like I have to hit the Right, right, right. If it was reversed, I would have folded your hand. You gotta play the player, and I, I said if it was some, a few other people, I would have called. Most of the time, I'm gonna have a flush. There. And I. Buddha's being perfectly honest here about his uh, style of play and his approach to the game regarding that hand, getting Miles to fold pocket aces. And Blake, with his aggression here in the big blind, takes a pot down. Well, I don't think Buddha would have made that play if Miles would have bet. He bet about, what, 200 and a 630 $650 pot. It just didn't seem like you had aces there. Right. I would have bet 400 on the turn. What would you do? Fold it? Yep. Just flat it? 100%. I would have called. I would have called. You would have called. He might have just smooth called, yeah. more money out of me when the game hits. Yeah, that bet sizing was a little bit weird for Miles on the on the flop there with you know pocket aces with the flush draw and straight draw out there, and you bet under a third of the pot, just slightly under a third of the pot. And Buddha thought it was an opening, took it. And the bluff worked. Five dollars, really, bro? If you, like I said, pocket dog shit. That's what I have. Well, I got pocket cat shit, so well, sometimes that might be better. Eight, ace, five, board. Miles, the top pair here. OG firing out. A pair of fives. 
in their own way. Right in the pile. Heads up. Yeah. Miles coming along. Heads up action. Well, where do you King of Diamonds you helps nobody. Oh, okay, okay. Is that Jack? Yeah. Jack. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, man, getting bluffed twice now. Man. A short period of time for Miles. And you, you, man, got to wonder if there's just something a little bit going on in his head from the last hand. Maybe the Aces got a part of that. And there's our updated cumulative winnings. I mean, as you see, Blake's still up just a hair under 3,000. James and OG John are in the plus. We have Garrett uh, down there and Miles and Buddha trying to get some back. Buddha obviously was down, I believe, 1,700 just a short time ago. And now he's at least, you know, in striking range from one big hand. They're getting even. And who knows how your night can end. It's early on in the live stream, Vic. And as yeah. we look at these rankings, you know the chips are going to be flying a little bit more, especially as the stream goes on throughout this broadcast. That's just how it goes. And now back to the action here. Yeah, Buddha with the suited 4-3. Oh, after the hand. That's a real. Probably talking about a different hand. Yeah, might have been. But I didn't think we were trying to play her in the hand. Courtside Caleb with ace deuce. That's a Bump it up to 55. Okay. Couple of folds. Who's going to give him some action? Heads up. Don't talk about your hand. Oh, okay. Oh, when there's two, it's okay. Oh, fair enough. Jack, Check. nine, eight. Couple of clubs. Check. Check. Jack on the turn now. Changes nothing. Ace high. And Ace high is yeah. going to take that one down. We were going to pretty good. Yeah. Well, certainly one of the smaller pots we've seen so far tonight. The action's been great. I looked at the cards here, but I marked your cards. But I already pulled it, so it took a really fucking time, but I did it, I guess. Uh, this is a good question Garrett asked. Or Garrison, Garrison. I'm sorry. Garrison asked, question for the announcers. Which do you prefer, the old way of poker that is trying to get live reads or the new way, which is largely math-central and analytical? Garrison, I 100% love the live reads old school way. I definitely think that you can apply too. I think a poker is always evolving and the analytical side of it and the math is always, well, the math has definitely always been a part of it, but the live reads, that's when you get in the combination when you're playing a big game. You need both, and I think the live reads is what separates people from live cash play and not online cash play. Yeah. Three-handed here going to the flop. But great question. Ten, deuce, five, rainbow board. We got a gut shot for OG John. Pair of fives for Gene. Courtside, which is jack high right now. Colonel in the house. And now we're heads up. Gene and OG John. Got some let's go miles rallying behind. I like to see it. And, um, you know, I will say this, folks, with uh, the A6 where OG, um, both, I think that was just a little bit of the last hand. And just with that hand, I do want to bring up, we've talked about A6 before, Vic, like A6, A7, A8. The reason why sometimes even when I play cash, I'll just open fold those hands unless they're suited. Yeah. Because you can see if you hit a flush or not or two pair. But you really don't have a sense of where you're at. You know, at least with the ace five and below, you know, you got some straight draw outs and whatnot to go along with it or a ten or higher. The between six and nine, it gets a little, as you like to say, sticky. And it's hard to really range how you want to play those aces. And I would much rather have like a five four than like an A6, A7, A8. Yeah. Just because you at least know a little bit more where you're at. Marcus, you uh, ask a really good question. I certainly want to talk about that. Um, I believe you're going to like the answer, but let's uh, get back to this hand right now. Yeah, 25 to go, going around the table. 
Miles picking up pocket sevens. Oh, this is just a nice little pot builder up right here. Buddha with kings down. He's going to give us some dead money. 100 more. Or 200 more. I'm sorry. I was not looking at the... At the uh, I was not reading what he raised. I thought I, I saw 100 more, but it looks like two blacks came out there. Wow, we've got three players. Call your friends, call your neighbors, call your cousins. This is going to be one heck of a live stream tonight. Starting out great, and here's a big flop. And we have a 6-5 ace board. OG John with a pair of sixes. Boot is still in the lead. Yeah, Marcus, we'll chat about it here in a minute. And now a diamond comes out. Not just any diamond, the deuce of diamonds. Interesting card. A gut shot straight draw gets to go with courtside's pair. Buddha with a nut flush draw now. 400? 400 is the bet. Close to pop. Yeah, Motor City, you bring up a good point. The uh, viewers do want action, but my, me personally, um, I, I, Marcus, uh, we've talked about it here on the live stream. We like the way you play. Um, yes, you're, you're aggressive and you play a lot of hands, but you also, I feel, uh, my opinion of your game is that um, your aggression is not unchecked. I mean, I think you have, uh, you, you measure what you want to do you and you get paid off more and uh, you get paid off more for that reason when people see you start to take hands down with king five off suit or something like that not trying to remember a certain particular hand but anyway it's uh well, i remember when he flopped the set and he pretty much got snap called with mid pair because you know he was getting in the heads of some of the players on the live stream and he got paid off for his style of play with that yeah so no, I I definitely think it's just a it's, you know I don't play that way. But Vic, would you agree? It's more of you don't mind giving a little bit back when you play ultra aggressive. You just want to take bigger chunks out. You know, give give some crumbs once in a while, and then just take a big chunk of the pie out, a big bite yeah. at a time. So it's you know you just gotta stay disciplined, not get too married to a hand at times. But yeah, I think that style of play is very useful. And we got five players now going to the flop at even 200 in the middle. And we have a 10-3, four board, couple of spades. And look at Garrett. Yeah. Flopping a gut shot to the wheel with the ace high flush draw. Check it around to a free card. Eight of clubs. A little surprise Garrett doesn't bet there. He does uh, get that spade. He does get to the flush. And now I don't think he's going to get a call from anybody with this bet. And that looks like an overbet, so I uh, stand corrected with this seven on the river. I think Blake is considering this. He does have three players behind him. Everyone's pretty... Much been allergic to this pot since we've seen the flop. Garrett might be thinking he's been bamboozling everyone at the table. The balk there from Buddha, giving his uh, old friend Garrett. We got Austin in the house too for massages. Should be on John. 
But it's on Gene. I don't know how it got over to Gene. It should be on John. Yeah. It's on John because he wasn't here. It's going to be on John. Okay, John has the button. Boy, what are we doing, a quarter? Yeah. We had yes, but I have it, I tell you. Caleb, no bond pie, though. Should I run and get him? I think it's a weird straight. It's a, it's a weird straight. Oh, he's going to go and tilt now. Or, or, it's a, or it's a more, more it's an absolute. I don't, I don't know what. We got a dealer change, and we're at the top of the hour, so that means a bomb pot. Everybody in for 25. Everybody getting four cards. Everybody's favorite southpaw in the box, Jonathan. We got a queen, jack, deuce, board, rainbow on the top, on the bottom. Three, okay. ten, nine, rainbow. So no flush draw right now. If they can play, which is bomb pot button very rare. on OG, so. First to act here will be Buddha. Miles. Checks around. He's got aces and it just checks around. Now we've got a free card. Check. Here comes Gene, making the call. Set of nines and two pair for Scott on both boards. Set of nines on the top, fours and deuces on the other, hoping that he can scoop this. Not much there for Blake. Kings, cool. he's going to come along, though. Miles. Out of the way, so we're going to go three-handed here to the river. So just all of a sudden got up to 650. And there's a king. But does anyone have the straight? I'm looking for ace-10 or 10-9. I'm not seeing it fixed. No. It looks like the set of kings are good for Blake. And the uh, set of nines are good for Scott. So if this goes down to showdown, we will have a uh, chop pot. I have a set on the top and a pair on the bottom. Yeah, looks like Scott and Blake are going to chop this up. They're each going to profit 150. Garrison, thanks for the nice uh, comments. Appreciate that, buddy. Yeah, and like Marty said, everyone is still learning the game, and that's the beautiful thing about poker and why we like uh, on this live stream live at the reserve. We got different, you know. Basically, different structures for any type of poker player. The 5 5 10, this is obviously the biggest buy in pick out of our shows. But then we have our Thursday night live stream, which is the no knit. It's a 1 3, 500 max, but it plays a lot bigger, than I would say, than a 1 3. And then also on Saturday, it's our average Joe poker show where it's a 1 3, 500 max, the same, but we take out the no knit button. There's no additive sedatives for the action, and that's a great one, especially if you're a 1-2, one, 1-3 one, player to get your feet wet and really have a learning experience where you can kind of go back, watch your hands, get acclimated. We try to definitely on this live stream put what you see at majority of the card rooms, whether you're in Ohio, in Michigan, across the United States, right here live at the reserve, and you can relate to it. He's fine. Leave him alone. Cool. I got you, Caleb. Don't worry. Call, call. Here we go. Five-handed to the flop. We are five-handed. And we have a nine right in the window, followed check, with an eight check. and a queen. Couple of hearts. Check, check. Open-ended for Blake. Hey. Yeah. OG John. Flop top pair. Call. Gene bets this out. Call. Caleb's going to come along Call. with the gutter. Down to four. Second eight. The board pairs. Yeah, now two flush draws That's are out there. Five. Diamonds and hearts. Oh. 
OG John is not going to slow play it anymore. OG John, take it down a pot. Yeah. Profits 270. That's enjoying. Thank you. We got a ball. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, nice time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I love this I, conversation I going on on the chat board ball. talking yeah. about <laughs> playing your, playing your game. Yeah, I decided not to. And um, this is, uh, and I had this conversation with Blake beforehand. Uh, this is a lifelong game. It's uh, always, always learning process. And Doyle said it best. You want to learn how to play this game? Play it. Just play it. Play a lot of hands. Was there, was there a king? Oh, there was a queen out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Uh, oh. Ray, 70, Cole. Yeah, I didn't know how strong you were. Ball seven, Cole. Three-handed now, here comes the flop. Check. Give a gut shot for Scott. And right now, Caleb still with the check mark with a pair of sixes. And he bets it. Nice pot there for Caleb. Fifteen tonight. <clears throat> Blake coming in. Looks cool. like he's going to bump it up with nine seven of spades. Vic up to thirty dollars. Cool. Cool. Scott's coming along with a suit at eight seven. Gene likes his ace ten over the Buddha with a pair on the button. Great position. Cool. Cool. Just twenty five here for Caleb to complete, and he does. James is going to get out of the way, but we're going to go five handed to the flop here. We have a King Deuce Nine board, Check. and Check. for Blake, the initial razor Check. hit mid Check. pair. Check it around. Check it around. Here comes a free card. Now the four diamonds. Caleb Check. gets a piece Check. of this. Checks it. Scott now hits a Check. flush draw with his Check. eight seven of diamonds, and they check it around. We got a free card. To the river and another king. That's a great card for Blake. And it's a good card for Caleb to put a bet out and see if he can take this down. I don't think Blake's going anywhere for 50. Well, he's going to try to get value. Nice bet. And another. Oh, I thought he took that down. Sorry. Nice read there from Blake. No king, And here's a button straddle of 50. Excuse me. Three for 
Couple of folds going around the table. King ten of diamonds. One twenty five. There we go, Miles, bumping it up. Like to see him in the second half. Have a nice strong showing. One of our most consistent players on this live stream since I've been here, Miles. Great respect for him. We got the Doyle suited. Got the Doyle suited, and we're gonna go heads up here. They each have a ten. Miles with diamonds, Caleb with hearts. And a Jack 9 5 board. Miles does have a gut shot. Continuation, bet of 100, and a quick call here from Caleb. Oh, oh wow, that's an action card. Yes. Both players get an open under on the turn. 225. Oh. And there, ooh, no. No, false alarm. False, false alarm. alarm. All in here from Miles. Oh. And Miles putting on the bluffing yeah. shoes. Even though he did have the best hand, but still majority of the time king high when you make that play. You're getting someone off a pair. I like seeing that from Miles coming out, switching it up. <laughs> How the hell do you know? You've been sitting here the whole time. Yeah, well, there's smoking, there's people laughing at Oh, yeah, bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Buddha actually made a bluff? Or what? A big bluff like that? Don't see that very well. Is that what they were laughing about? <laughs> or what? <laughs> I let Buddha bluff me. Or what? <laughs> Making oh. you feel, you on tilt. Just trying to mess Just with add it. Right? Tilt you more. Yeah. Tilt you more. Yeah. Here's a raise from Caleb. First. 70. In the cutoff. 70. Nice <laughs> position raise here. Uh, I, I and he's going to take down another pot here. I mean, I was torn. Driving the action and uh, driving oh, the V pip. Yeah. There was an earlier prediction that the over-under would be 78% uh, for Caleb, I believe. He's probably still in the 90s. Oh, yeah. I mean, eight or nine times out of ten, you're going to have it there. Toby in the house. Also, shout out to Mom for tuning in. Thanks for the love. She's in town uh, from Dallas visiting family. I'll get to see her on next Monday, actually. Terrific. Looking forward to it. You call in that spot every time, in the long run, you're losing money, Miles. I think it was a good Yeah, I, I agree, 100%. Is it's my small blind argument? Five. Okay. Against other players, call. Oh, snap. Oh, shove it. Uh, well, you, yeah, you, you're leading with it. I'm, well, I'm now aces for Garrett. Great position as well. Raises it up to 170. Here we go. Couple folds around the table. And Dead pocket money. nines for OG. Ooh, big hand alert here, folks. Big hand alert. Caleb's going to come along also with the six deuce, and we got 540 in the middle, three handed going to a flop here. And we have a 5 3 9 board. Gut shot straight off of courtside Caleb, but top set for OG That's John on Garrett's aces. can get all of it if he wants it right here. I think it, once Garrett, he really only has 780 behind him, and he bets 400, he's pot committed. He's not full on a 953 board. I think OG realizes the situation. Oh, 
All in for and he calls it. He Two says he got uh, just got OG'd, and yes, you did. Garrett, unfortunately for your aces, set of nines right on the flop. Yeah, big hand, 2,900 now in the middle. Our program system, our computer system, knows that one of those aces is already in the muck. So just one out here for Garrett with two cards to go. Our biggest pot tonight has been 5,100, but this is a nice pot. 2,900 could more likely go in OG John's way. And here comes the river. And the jack and the king, it was paint, but... Yeah, Garrett was looking for an ace, and OG John is going to bring over 2,900 over his way. Nice hand for the OG. Flopping top set. Garrett makes the comment that he doesn't think he could have played that any differently, and uh, he got consensus, I think, from the table. They pretty much agreed. He did have a straight draw, I think if he had open end, Yeah, he did have a uh, but in the end, the pot going to OG John. I don't. I didn't see the action. It was a three of the pot. Yeah. Uh, John looking down at the eight deuce. It's suited, so he's going to be like, "I'll play." Buddha says no. Caleb's going to come along with nine seven. Suited in clubs. You know, Caleb's going to raise this to fifty five nine seven of clubs. Getting after it. Garrett re-ups to two grand. So five-handed. Wow, 290 in the middle. Here we go. Scott Garrett with pocket hand. eights. An eight in OG John's hand. And we got a 4-4 four, four jack board. Oh, and there's Garrett. Garrett. The three Check. of a kind. Check. 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 Check around. Here comes a free card. <clears throat> now the three. With the wet hands we saw go in the muck, Garrett already gets the check mark. All of the players' outs are gone. 150. Oh. Oh. My Don't blame Scott here, though, with the eights to see where you're at. Bet 150 with that board and that turn. To the river and to seven. Again. Check. How much money do I got left? How much do you have left? Um, like eighteen hundred. Yeah, seventeen ninety five. Yeah, seventeen fifty. Right, or, no, 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 no. It was fifty five. Yeah, seventeen ninety five. Four hundred. Four hundred. Garrett waiting on his chips. He did uh, declare. I wish I was. Not bad, honey. You throw it in there too. To declare his uh, add-on there, or the adding to his chip stack of two grand before this hand got started, so all of that is in play. And then 400 for the bet. And now he's going to bet 400. He gets his chips. Jonathan doing a great job keeping this pot right. Scott. Thinking long and hard about this with his pocket eights. And it probably uh, helps Garrett's uh, table position here that that he um, 
just lost a big hand with pocket aces, and St Scott might putting him might be putting him on a serious tilt here. Yeah, a little tilty. It's definitely a prime suspect when you get a player that gets stacked, doesn't even have his chips back, and he's firing 400 into you. And he lets it go. Good fold. Yeah. Garrett now trying to make a comeback. And, yes, Lucas, thank you very much for uh, joining us for the first time. We are the Reserve Poker Club, Toledo, Ohio, 5105 Glendale Avenue. This is our Tuesday night staple live stream here on YouTube. We also have shows on Thursday and Saturday. We have a Facebook page, a website. You can come check out our full schedule, too. Big tournaments all around the year, right? Yes. Here. We got a hundred K guarantee right around the corner. We got some big ones coming. Yep, Glendale Avenue is correct. Gene. Now Scott's gonna limp in with a call of fifteen. Gene's gonna raise it up with Ace Jack of Hearts to ninety five. Buddha gets out of the way, and also two hearts for Caleb here. Queen eight, and he's going to make the call. Garrett with the nemesis, King Jack. If you're new to the live stream, that's uh, Dom's nemesis. Oh, yeah. He's sporting the nemesis hoodie here tonight. Man. Miles coming along with two diamonds. We have got a pot brewing here. Now back over to Scott with pocket kings. Yeah, price of poker is about to go up. About to not, go up here. Do not want to go five ways into a flop with pocket kings. Lucas, thank you for subscribing. Appreciate that. Now let's get back to this action. Kings. No double dipping. Here we come with a three bet. Got 450. And a big one, 450. Call your cousin. Call your friends, call your neighbors, call your cousins. Big hand alert. And Gene coming along. With the ace jack of hearts. Oh. Now over the Caleb. Of it? Yeah, sure. And he's going to go all in. All in queen now. Eight. Queen eight of hearts. Big pot here. Yeah, this one is building up fast. Gene did make the call. Garrett and Miles got out of the way. 15 more. Nice job, Jonathan. Gets the pot right. We are going to have potentially a side pot so far in the main. 2,000 in the middle before we see anything. Right, and here we go. Giddy up, folks. Potentially the biggest hand of the night right now. And we have a five, four, deuce board, couple of clubs. All in, All in here from Scott. Tough situation here for Gene. And Gene with two overs, plus he's got a gut shot to the wheel. Scott doesn't care that he's not saying anything, but he's basically screaming over pair, get out of the way. I want you out of this pot. Yeah. With that move. I don't blame him. Yeah, you did protect that. Oh. 
Good luck, gentlemen. Oh, and a call here. And here we go. We wow. have 3,800 in the middle. Two separate pots. Ten of clubs. And another deuce. So kings and deuces are going to scoop it. Kings. Scott, 2,300 going his way. Wow. Excellent job. Big hand here for Scott. Wow. What a hand. That, folks, is the biggest hand of the night so far going Scott's way. He's going to profit 2,300 in just one hand. Now, I already hit the like button tonight, so I'm going to go ahead and hit this hard. Big hand here at the Reserve Poker Club in Toledo, Ohio, our Tuesday night 5 5 10 no limit hold 'em cash game. Yeah. Really? Lots of action, and we're going till 11.15 here tonight. Yeah, it's not even 9 o'clock, Vic, and we're already up to 82 likes. We're 18 likes away from, we always have a goal of at least hitting 100 likes every show. See, so yeah, if you're just tuning in, you just saw that huge hand, smash that like button. Uh, help us get there quick. The quicker we get there, it helps out the show a lot. We get a little bit more traction on YouTube. Also, if you're new, I saw a couple of player, uh, viewers say that they were new to the channel. Please hit that subscribe button. We would love for you to be a part of our poker community. We're here on every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday night. We also have big tournaments throughout the year. We just had a $1 million guarantee where it was almost what 1.8 million in the prize pool and those also get just thrown in there a lot of times our day twos are on sundays sometimes yes. mondays mm -hmm. so a lot going on here live at the reserve also that bell next to the subscribe can, you can get alerts for when we go on air sent to your phone we appreciate it. and thank you everyone who just hit that like button we're over 90 now so yeah nine likes away from our goal of 100 it's not even 9, 9 p.m appreciate you guys Under the gun now. Caleb's going to raise to 125. James, thinking about it, 7-6 of diamonds, and he's going to make the call. I love 7-6 of diamonds, Vic. It's one of my favorite hands. Better than ace-10 offsuit for Garrett? You know, I guess I agree with you. And two more diamonds here. This time, Blake, ace, nine of diamonds. De depends how many players are going to the flop pick on that one. Between Do I like <laughs> seven, six suited or ace, ten? Right. The more players in the hand, I like seven, six more. If I'm playing three players or less, I'll take the ace, ten. Scott's got a good problem. Still stacking chips. OG John. Just can't fathom making the call with the 9-3 so we're going to go three-handed almost 400 in the pot and here comes the flop checking the dark and we got a queen 9-6 board couple of spades pair of sixes in the lead for James free card another six now James With trips. What's he do here with two spades on the board? 200. Bets 200. Garrett quickly gets out of the way. He raised 500. And a raise now. He's trying to represent what's, what James has. I don't mind this play. A lot of times it'll work. Just right now, the timing is off. He's got the goods. We have seen Caleb's aggression pay off for him well tonight earlier. Unfortunately, he's making this right into a pretty big hand.
I was curious, you're seeing three poker players to the right of him on this screen, all looking at him to see what he does because James hasn't played a lot of hands, almost trying to get a tell for the future. <coughs> and James doesn't really give away too many tells. He's pretty consistent. Like I said, I've, I got to deal to him during our one million guarantee. I was really impressed with his play, his demeanor at the table. Very strong player. So now we got a dealer change, and here comes Mr. Josh Black. And actually, I agree with uh, Concrete Dave right there. Flat call gets it all. But at the same time, with the straight and the flush draw out there, sometimes you don't want to get too cute. And there's a lot in that pot, especially with that re-raise of 500. So I don't mind that play of just taking it down there. And if he, if he does have a different hand and it's not air, you know, most likely he'll come along for the ride. But, yeah, we've seen the cards. I agree with Dave. Flat call gets it all. And that rhymed. I like it. Yeah. And now James Sounds like a bumper sticker. Right? Yeah. Yeah, James now using his table image to his advantage. Throwing the table off, raising up with five, four of spades. Buddha in the big blind now. Gets out of the way. We're going to go heads up here. The same two players from the last hand. Here comes the flop. And we have a deuce king king board. Flush draw for James. Ace high still the best made hand. Caleb still in the lead. Nine outs here. And that's not one of them. Poor James. Checking the dark from Caleb. Actions on James, and he checks it. We're going to go a free card. And two pair on the board. Ace high has the check mark. I think if James bets anything, he would get snapped by Caleb. Yep. There's, no, there's just not enough money in the pot right there to bluff 230. I mean, normally yeah. you, you throw in maybe 115. I mean, that's about a standard bluff. And, yeah, for 100 bucks, Caleb was going to snap that with Ace High. Lucas, we are open seven days a week for uh, tournaments. We've got a tournament here tonight that started at 6 p.m. Go to the reservepoker.com. You can get all the information on our nightly tournaments. Cash games outside in the main, uh, outside of this room, out in the main room. Pretty much uh, <laughs> happen certain opportunities. We had a really good cash game going yesterday. Friday night for the free roll. It's a fun cash game that's, that's start up. Uh, usually get a couple tables yeah. of a 1-1 one -one game. Trying to chat up earlier. Boring TVs. Me and uh, Caleb's the only ones talking today. <laughs> King Jack of Hearts now the nemesis for James. He's going to raise it up to 125. Blake coming along with King Queen. Four players. Check. Check in the dark. Action is on James, and here comes the flop. Six queen, couple of diamonds. Blake gets the best of this continuation That's bet coming out from James. Yeah, I won't be surprised if OG comes along here, though, just to make sure this isn't a C bet. Unless Blake raises this up. The question was about where Scott was from. He's from Chillicothe, Ohio. Blake comes down from Detroit to play. There it is. And there is the raise. Caleb folds and now James. 2.30 to call. A new series out called Shogun. Really 
and Blake taking down that pot, profiting just under four hundred dollars. And Tyler, chosen one, uh, we've got another request to see uh, how the VPIP is doing. We got a chance. Ninety-one percent from Caleb. Gene also at sixty-one percent. Look at that activity. Buddha at forty-two percent. I wouldn't have thought that that he'd be in third place before the live stream started, Vic. So that's a nice surprise. See a bunch of players at the table between 25 and 36 percent. That seems to be the standard. Blake and Scott are a little bit low at the moment. Here comes a raise, nemesis suited. Oh, two nemesis hands. And right behind them, as you say, another nemesis. $60. And the costume. I'd probably see Caleb it. makes the call. Ace nine offsuit in the small blind, and we're going to go three handed to the flop. Nemesis versus Nemesis versus Ace nine, and here comes the flop. And we have a oh, and Caleb 10, gets an ace. Ten, ace, seven, couple of hearts. Caleb in the driver's seat here. Does anyone call for the gutter? Oh, Gene. But now that opens up the door, it's juicier for OG to call. Check. Check of the dark here from Caleb. There is a brick, although it is the third heart. And it's going to go to showdown, and Caleb's going to take this one down. That's a nice $495 pot going his way. For courtside. Courtside, Caleb. Back in the saddle seat two. The return. Guys, I can't talk. I can't talk about it. And there is the uh, main room, and it looks like Adam. You've seen Adam deal here quite a bit and also commentate, a.k.a. the professor, playing in tonight's tournament. Oh, he's trying to get free lessons. Sign up now. All right, 50 on the button, 50 to go starting this button. $50 button straddle. Garrett's going to come along now with Ace-8 offsuit. Folding around. Back over to Buddha. Buddha makes the call. Caleb checks the option. Three-handed. Here comes the flop. Six, seven, three. Couple of hearts. There's a gutter in and over. A little feeler bet of 100. And Garrett going nowhere with Ace High. And now the King of Hearts. And a free card. Oh, I thought for a minute there that was a five. See if Garrett wants to make this call with just ace high. 225 is the bet. Ooh, he almost pulled the trigger. He looked like he was going to, but he uh, makes the fold. Nice bet there from Caleb. That's no limit, baby. Well, Art um, Crete is actually uh, on the chat with us tonight, but not in the room. Not in the live stream. Buddha. King, Queen of Hearts, just going to limp in here. <laughs> he said that he's got a lot, of, before the live stream, he said, I got a lot of aggression behind me with Caleb. I might be limping in with a few big hands tonight. And that's an example of it right there. But look at Garrett. Garrett making the call with Ace, King of Diamonds at courtside. 
with seven three and he's pretty live everyone else is you know a couple of players are sharing cards sharing suits here's to see if we get a red flop here and we got a king deuce deuce board buddha in the driver's seat oh i'm sorry garrett garrett man this is a cooler Ace situation king. for buddha really check it around we got a free card oh 200. queen on the turn for buddha and a diamond for Garrett. Man, Garrett is just running bad, though, right now. I mean, he still has outs, an ace or a diamond, but what a turn. Got a lot of outs here. Oh, and he is. hits the flush on the river. Yes. Sure. Oh, and he checks it. Top two, and you're checking? What the hell? What flush is out there, man? You think I'm putting money in brother, with the flush? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Flush. I ace, king, and nine. I know I normally He's mad miss. because I didn't Can't miss. get mad for Buddha. The old saying, oh, Vic, you bet your hand. Oh, you bet your hand. There's a flush yep. came out. Runner, runner. What, you, you can't hit runner, runner on me? I can't, but you're not you, you, you wonder why I folded eight. Oh, okay. God. Saying that was you need easy. to bet your own hand. You need buddy. to go play one, too. Yes, we are at 100 likes. Thank you very much. What, what a troll job out? right there. I know how to go play one, two, he says. <laughs> what? The diamonds came. You were obviously betting the flush draw on the turn. What else is out there? I got the king and the queen. What do you think? I'm, yeah, he I'm does have you a, on a two. He does have a point, actually. You guys are all what, hand, what hand am I putting you on? Not a runner, runner, diamonds. You bet the turn. You check it, check it, and then you bet the turn. So much. You don't bet, bet until the turn comes. The turn, okay, you either got a queen in your hand, yeah. or you picked up the, the diamond. I need to get. I need to take lessons. And the from diamonds me. came in. I ain't betting your hand for it. I need to take lessons because <laughs> that I would have. I would have screwed myself. I would have screwed myself today. If I was, that was that was smart. That was good. I know some people would have Three players to the flop here, $200 in the pot. Gene, first to act. On a deuce four jack rainbow board, and Vic, I just want to say, go back to last hand, once again, the power of the river. Because he didn't get value. Right. How much did he greedy? How much went enough? How much was the river bet? And an ace if things were slow. This thing just could slow it down, giving Caleb a great opportunity here because of that pre-flop aggression. The ace comes, he bets it, and he takes down the pot. Yep. One guy checking the nut, the other guy checking the... I had a reason behind mine. Not too fair. Not too fair. I had a reason behind mine, too. Yeah. You think you had a deuce? Or a flush? They're still stewing over that hand. I love it. Straight, it's straight, it's no, not straight, right? Not straight. Not straight. No, he specifically put you on a set, a rivered set. No. I'm kidding. Flush. I know, I'm joking. He don't bet till the diamond comes, so he liked the diamond. Or he had a queen. Kings and queens. Tell him, John. Okay, then why didn't you re-raise me on the turn? Which are two pairs. I didn't want to lose my player over here. Okay, what are we doing? I want to. You better get some balls. <laughs> Caleb keeping the aggression up now. He's raising to 80. I don't have to bet him when he's betting him. He's, he's betting in every street. He wasn't even in the hand. You're just making up excuses. Huh? Here comes OG John. He's been in every hand. What are you talking about? And Buddha with the King 10. Here we go. Three wheeler. And it. And we got a King Jack 8 board. Top pair for Buddha, and he checks, and now the king on the turn. OG John wants to figure out where he's at here. It's a bet out of 85. <laughs> well, he knows where he's at. He's trying to play bully ball right he now. He is trying to play bully ball. He's like, I'm not in a good place. Yeah. Help me. Let, me. let me throw some chips. Hopefully I can represent something. But Buddha, I mean, playing this nice, checking it, getting a favorable turn. And how many times have you seen OG continue but his boot is in the hand? Yeah. When I know I'm ahead, it just slows money on behind. down. When I know I'm behind, I don't. That's the whole point. And an example so for some of the players right here. I mean, 
Earlier, earlier we had right, aces okay. get pulled oh, to Buddha. Wait, 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 you kind of see it, why. Do you have that many outs? <laughs> yeah, I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> Over 100 likes. Thank you, everybody. That was actually less. So time to go six hours. You needed an eight. Oh, or courtside Caleb. Courtside Caleb. I almost said concrete Dave. Yeah, I, so know. I was reading the message board. Pocket <laughs> Kings. <laughs> And what a great place to get this with the action with, that he's been driving with an early yeah. position raise. I expect him to get some callers, but only one so far. A little surprised. OG John, Queen Jack. Those are really the only two <laughs> that hands that are worth calling. I saw a weak suited ace, well, off suited ace three. Yeah. Oh, and look at this, Vic. Could be an action flop here. Nine, five, deuce, all clubs. OG John and courtside Caleb have some big ones. Nice flop there for Caleb. That's going to build the pot up. 300 yes. more. Add it in. Oh, and now oh, the queen for OG. Wow. What an action card. Great card there for Caleb. About a 200 and a quick call here. Yeah. And here we go to the river. And this has got Caleb written all over it. Oh, just a call there. Caleb's Kings hold up all the way to the flush. And a $1,400 pot there. $740 profit for Caleb. Yeah, very nice hand. Those kings got paid. I make bad decisions usually. I have to think. I'm not very. I have to. It takes a while. Is it the hamster in there is just like. No, I guess there is a saying called "think long, think wrong." But I don't, what the fuck do I know? Straddle. Straddle. Nice hand. Nice hand. Fifty dollars straddle. I'm glad I didn't see a king. It would have been disastrous for me. We've seen this hand in Buddha's, uh, oh. with Buddha before, Great King, hand. Queen of Hearts. Now Caleb's going to raise this up. Garrett and Buddha with the same hand. Buddha's is suited. Seven deuce for 300. I love it. And quick call from both of these players. Got Caleb shaking his head. He's got live cards here against the King Queen. And oh, both players top flop top pair on a Jack Queen deuce board. Couple of clubs. Caleb hits his deuce. He is in the lead with the seven deuce. Bet a 400 from Buddha. Top pair king kicker, top pair king kicker for Garrett. I mis I mispronounced. I said Caleb had the best of this with the deuce, but he doesn't. Sorry about that. Cool. Misread on my part. Now what does Garrett do? And he does. He's going to push all in. And Buddha might get rid of this. This is going to be a tough test for Buddha here. All in for 2100. Yeah, Motor City, we uh, never have that seven deuce. I know the players talk about it from time to time. In Motor City, I am gone on record. I want to abolish the seven deuce game in, in, in respect to Doyle Brunson. Everyone who plays a seven deuce should change it to ten deuce. Ten deuce. Rest in peace, Doyle. Unless we do it uh, the cement mixer. The cement mixer would be legit. It would be your second option. I, I agree with my partner there. I ended up, I ended up doing well. I was down the whole night, right? That's what I wanted to do. 
Me, me and OG chopped that one hand that I had the combo draw. I got a big, I got a big five on the stream. I know what the five, I remember that shit, that was sick. It was a full, yeah, 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 but full. And a fold announced from Caleb. That was, that was sick. That was super sick. And oh my goodness, he shows it. And Buddha feeling a little queasy now after that hand. It was a good play. Very really nice. Play. As Colonel says, very nice play here by Garrett. Yeah. You see uh, Bandana Bobby there in the window, which oh, yeah. means the uh, tournament is probably on its main break. As soon as this break is over, then that's the end of the late reg. By the way, Vic, you know how, like, in Toledo we have a lot of sports teams, like Michigan's up the way, we yeah, have Toledo, Bowling Green, yep. you know, Ohio yeah. State and Columbus. Yeah. I, I just – and I try not to do too much sports stuff on here, but I got to give a shout-out to a local school who made the NCAA tournament just today since 2011, the Oakland Grizzlies, just Oakland County, which is, like, downriver area. I mean, not, not too far, right outside Detroit area. A lot of people around here probably went to Oakland, too. Since the first time they, they won their uh, conference, they're going to, to March Madness. Wow. So, yeah, shout-out to any Oakland, uh, you know, Students, well, in the area, that's going to make me after this hand talk a little bit about our men's team and women's team here at the University of Toledo. Oh, the Rockets are in good shape right now. Number one seed in the MAC right now, I believe. Correct? Yeah, like I said, as soon as this hand's over, because I'm going to get up on my pedestal about oh, okay. the T Rockets. But here we go, and we have five a five-handed, five-three, eight board, couple of hearts. Sixes, pocket sixes for James, and he's going to bet out here 200. Garrett got a piece of it with the five. Blake, fold, back over to Caleb, gets out of the way, so we're heads up, going to the turn. And now a seven of hearts. James picking up an open-ended straight draw. Garrett with the gut shot with his pair of fives. And he just saw a hand between Garrett and Buddha where Garrett went runner runner with the flush. Don't know if that's on his mind right now. But here comes a bet with his sixes. 450 is the bet. So nice hand there from James, pocket sixes. He continues to uh, run well here tonight. And yes, uh, both the uh, ladies and the men's team, basketball team at the University of Toledo, won um, the regular season MAC, and now the MAC championship will be this week, and they both have number one seeds. Yeah, it's an exciting time, and this is actually one of my favorite times of the year to play poker. I love playing cards when you got the March Madness yes. games on. You got all the TVs on. I even like a, a good home game around this time when you can get the crockpot foods. Yeah. I'm a big fan of poker, cold beverage, and crockpot food. That's max value for right. a night for me. Miles now, been a little quiet lately. He's going to pick up ace-king and three-bet this to 275 right into Garrett's pocket. Queens needs 215 to call. out of the way and now we are heads up there's already 675 in the pot mr oh. josh black in big the box and alert folks big hand alert the ladies versus ace king and a clean board for the queens four eight deuce couple of spades 
Jackson. And Garrett checks it over the miles. Continuation bet. Mixing it up here. 200 bucks. I'll tell you what, the last 20 minutes, it's like a light switch went on Garrett, and he's on. Out of the way, nice check for Garrett. He got max value out of that by checking over, get another 200 put in the middle, re pops him up to 600, takes down the pot. Oh, he said good fold to him. I said it's good fold. Well, it clearly was good fold. I'm just praying you didn't have aces. We are the reserve. Here in Toledo, Ohio, and we are coming up on our three year anniversary. Go to the reservepoker.com and check out the series that we've got lined up for you, a two-week series towards the end of April. But before that happens, we've got a big tournament coming up on March 21st. And we'll be talking about that graphic here towards the end of the night. Also, make sure to go on there and check out satellites for the March 21st and satellites already announced for the uh, April main event, $250,000 prize pool guarantee. Oh, so Dr. Boren in the house on the message board. Got heads up action. Couple of suited kings. Blake has the best of OG currently. And we have a queen jack three rainbow board open ender for Blake. Just king high for the OG John. Previous live streams, we've seen these two going at it, and they have not been at it yet tonight. Here's the first hand. They've kind of been heads up. Oh, and now a flush draw comes into play, but that also gives the straight for Blake. But one of the rare occasions where Blake gets the current nuts to currently, <laughs> but it's actually a bad card for him. OG John just picked up a few more outs. Right. You had him just drawn to, you know, a couple of threes, and now... OG has a total of seven outs. We have some that have already gone in the muck or folded. 240 in the middle, and that's a blank. That's a brick. Blake checking his. OG didn't take the bait. Straight, and he did not take the bait and bet out. By the way, I talked to Dr. Bourne. He sent me a message. Guess who he played poker with this week? Who's that? Mike the Mouth. What did you say? Oh, really? Yep. He went out of town, played with Mike the Mouth. I thought cool. that was pretty cool. So I can't that wait till cool. we see him in here and we can yeah, ask him about that. So, yeah, Dr. Boring going one-on-one. -on -one. Not one-on-one, -on -one, but, you know, he was at the same table. Dr. Boring, let us know. Was there a hand that you were one-on-one -on -one with Mike the Mouth Matisau when you are at his table? Kind of curious to hear that. Good for me. Yeah, very good for me. Caleb now going to button straddle. Looks like 50, might be 45. Actions on James. It is a button straddle of 50. Garrett making the call in the big blind, 7-6 offsuit. Blake pointing out we've got a uh, crease in the card. As soon as his hand is over, I'm sure the chosen one will take care of that. Gene coming along with ace nine. OG John, couple of spades, little ones. Buddha with the king queen. Will he take the opportunity to raise? No, he wasn't at the table, so a check of the option from from Caleb. We're going to go four handed. Here comes the flop, and we got a 10-4 king rainbow flop here. And courtside, Caleb flopping the best of it. He's going to bet it out, 100. Bets out 100. This might go all the way through. And another pot there for Caleb. Yeah, Dr. Boring said, I was, I jammed on him, and then he folded, then I <laughs> nibbled him. <laughs> he asked who I was, and I told him, Dr. Boring, look it up. <laughs> Should have brought him a T-shirt. <laughs> Google it. <laughs> Here we go. Dealer change. Top of the hour means one thing, and that is 
A bomb pot, $25. Everybody in the pot. And we change out that uh, creased card. Get that taken care of. Back to business. Eddie in the box. Neil Brinkman's favorite dealer. And if you don't know who Neil Brinkman is, Google it. You know, I Googled it just now to see what would pop up, Dr. Dr. Boring. Dr. Boring. Yeah. And I got a doctor. I got a doctor in uh, Edmore, Michigan that popped up when I put in Dr. Boring. I got an Instagram that's not him that's Canadian. So we need to get Dr. Boring trending a little bit more live at the reserve so we can just get one of his poker faces. As a picture when you when you put it up. <laughs> Let me click on images. Yeah, how are we not getting a Dr. Boring on the images like a, a cold shot at the reserve? Or even his T-shirt. Anastasia. Well, here we go. Bomb pot time. And we got a king, queen, queen board and also jack, eight, deuce. Have clubs on top. And here's the hands now. Right. OG John checks it over. Oh, aces. Man, James was loaded pre-flop. Man, that's yeah. a great, great PLO piece. starting hand. Yeah, you get aces with suit and spades. And you also get two separate straight draws with them, a five and a king. Scott now has a queen. For the bottom. Yeah, try to take it down. Queen now. 10. No, it doesn't really matter. So he bets 150. Back over to James. James is going to look this up. And if I'm Scott. James is probably, either him or Buddha were probably the two guys I would not want to call. Well, you got nine and now a 10. And Jack eight, two pair for Blake. Still best on one of the boards. Scott, the three of a kind. Free card, here comes a seven of hearts on the one board and Queen. Oh, wow, now Queen 10 takes over. So Scott is scooping this currently. Well, you got Ace King. No, Queen 10. Oh, oh wait. I'm, thank yep. you, Vic. Ace James King gets for James. Broadway. And I think they're going to check this 675 Hello. pot to showdown, and we're going to see a chop between Scott and James. Oh, he's got the bottom. And that's teamwork at its finest, folk. They can pick me up well, when needed. But yeah, Broadway. Three of a kind, take it down, chop pot. Each player getting just over 160 in profit. And look at these. Look at this. Not one Dr. Oh, okay, picture. so I was, I was live. And you didn't have clubs, did you? No. Okay. Sweet. I had back to a hearts and clubs on the top, and then um, I could have voted up on the bottom. I don't ever play PLO. Do it? Yeah, it is like my first hand. Like ever? Yeah, well, I was yeah, gonna basically, say. basically, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, well. no, I've, I've played more PLO hands tonight than I have uh, ever. It's, it's funny, I only play I only play PLO with my that's it. I don't actually play a PLO though. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Because that's how I kind of look at PLO anyway, it's basically just fucking mop up. I guess I'm blue. They are back from the break there in the main room, and you can see the payouts for tonight's tournament. This is a $2,000 prize pool guarantee tournament, and the uh, payout is four grand. First place, $1,600. Yeah, look at Blake. Top seven. Now we have three players that are really kind of having a nice night. James, Scott, and Blake all over 1000 Blake at 3500 profit. OG John. Hey, nothing the you saw her about up 427 bucks. Yeah. Did I win? 
Van Dana Bob in the house. And Garrett in for uh, close to four grand, but making a trying to make a comeback here over four grand. Pocket jacks for Gene. Just sitting down, looking at his cards. He limps in and here he gets a raise from OG with fives. Boot is coming along and looks like a re-raise from courtside Caleb. Looks like he's going to make it 135 to go. Now Gene with pocket jacks has a decision to make. Sharing chips again. Yeah, two on the bottom. Yeah. What's that? Sharing chips again. Yeah, OG John gets out of the way with fives. Oh, yeah. So hey, you're, feeling, you're feeling pretty good. Let's run. Let's go. 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 let us go Blink, do some clubs. Another 500 here from Gene. This pot is building up quickly. So not banging on there. 3100 in the middle. 3100 in the and here comes. Man, they're throwing in 500s like they're just Kit Kats or Tic Tacs or Reese cups. It's just candy. That's what I'm trying to get it off. And here goes Caleb win a big one right there. Over 3,000 in that pot. Going over the court side. They made that rule. They made that rule. I'll tell you right now, we'll go to court over that. Over what? If I say you win and don't buck my cards, and then you know me, you turn your hand over and I turn my hand over. There's no way. If you declare, if you declare a winner, no way. They will. If you tell somebody, if they show their hand and you go, oh, you're good, or oh, you win. Yeah. If you declare a winner. Your hand is now dead. Everywhere is here. No, just, just in Motor, Motor City. City. Oh, it's like sir. a new rule. Bring, bring the yeah, Motor, yeah. Very interesting. Yeah. Thanks for I'll sharing it. That Caleb, Caleb mentions that up in Motor City, cars read for themselves. Somebody <laughs> rolls over <laughs> a hand <laughs> and you're you know, about everywhere. to muck and say <laughs> you <laughs> win. Got a fucked up rule. No, I don't have it. Then apparently, you lose the hand if you do that. Really, I wonder if that's spreading around or if it's just one casino because I know every card rule, you know, can be different from room to room. Anybody else get a massage tonight? thank you. I'm all right now. Is this going to be our first limp pot? May not be our first, but if it is, it's our. If it isn't, it's our second. But no, James now, Jack nine, 40. and he's going to raise it up to 40. Garrett with the nemesis, King Jack, and he's going to make the call. Blake just needs 35 to call, and he does with the 10 nine. Miles gets out of the way. Gene lost a big pot here just now with uh, Jacks, and he's going to come along. And a call from Caleb, and we're going to go six-handed to the flop. Yeah, 255 in the middle. As you can see, the game is loosening up here. A couple of sevens of the four, two diamonds. Nemesis still in the lead here. Yeah. And a check around to a free card. And another seven now. King high. Still in the lead. Is anyone going to go for it? Quarter. Yep. Quarter from Caleb. <coughs> $25 straddle from the OG. Game's getting deeper. Stacks are growing. Why not?
We got a raise up to 135 with the seven deuce. It's back. The seven deuce coming at you. And Scott with ace queen now. Gene also behind him with king 10 offsuit. Yeah, they can still play back. You just took my mind. You can check two pair on the second nuts. You guys are never going to let that down. Yeah. yeah, I don't think so. I don't think you did know you beat it. Uh, you're just really yeah, I'm scared. There's a lot of hands. I mean, there's a lot of hands. I could have had a king. Is there, it's though? Yeah. Is there really that many? I don't know. I, mean, I, I digress. Why do I got a bet there? Let's say I bet. What you going to do? You're going to re raise me. Now I'll lose whatever so I'm doing. My question is because I can't call. On the turn, I raised you. Why didn't you re raise me? You had the. But you, you're in a small blind. You can't have a deuce in your hand. Queen, four, eight, rainbow board. Ace, queen in control for Scott. And we get a free card. Six of spades on the turn. And there is the straight for Garrett. Got something to learn. I'm always learning. 125. I'm always learning. You're either winning or you're learning. One or the other. I think even when you're winning, you're still learning. Curious to see what Garrett does here. Not as much. 920 in the middle and he's gonna bump it up to four and a quarter that's that's what I'm trying to that's what I'm trying to say sometimes you yeah Scott is going to make the call. Now court side with just a gut shot. I would argue more if we're including the online seats. And we got a paired board now with the fours. You have my fair share online. How many hands do you get? Over a million? Online? <sighs> Which normally for ace queen can sometimes be a good card. Yeah, you're probably, you're probably 500 k But in this case, Garrett. I'm going to pull up Fuda. I checked. That was a bad, bad river. Oh. I have you enough straight. You are pulling a fucking Buddha. He says, yeah, I'm going to yeah, pull a Buddha and he's, check. He's, he's, you lost a lot of value there. Are you? No, I did not. That was a reasonable I think, I think no, a, a casual flip of a 500 check is what I got to call there. I just lost respect. You came on. I just lost respect for you. Oh. I hope you know that. that. You know about all of them. How can he, how can he yeah. give you, he, he can never chirp you, 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 you ever again. He just mad because he didn't win more money. That was not reasonable at all. He misplayed the river by not betting his hand and he's blaming it on me. You fucked up there. For not betting his hand for him. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. That was a reasonable check. He's calling. You're calling. Until Nick in the house. Well, I ain't going to bet 275. I bet 500. Scott, how much did you call? Okay, he's calling 400. Yeah, he's calling 400. Yes, he is. Yeah, 400 or 500. You'd call it. He said he'd call 1,000 minimum. <laughs> yes, yes. That's a lot of value he lost. I never want to hear you say anything about this man. Yeah, <laughs> hypocrite. Well, there's wow. That was Maybe. not really. He criticizes me and then does something worse. Not really. That was that pretty. Was no, that was pretty bad. What was it? Like, literally. What could beat you? Uh, boat? Yeah, when he cost 500, he could easily have a set there. I probably checked. He would. Am I the only one that's betting? Am I the only one that's betting? He called my re raise. Am I the only one that's betting? I don't like to value all myself on the river. It's just a very unpleasant experience. You guys are so Check my house. Did I think I was good? Most likely. But what was I gonna risk? Three thousand? No. I'm gonna bet a thousand if I do yeah. get to say you're embarrassed. No. Your, your critique of my hand. That was just as bad. That, that was legitimate. That's the same. Was, I, I probably should have bet the turn. Caleb up against Miles Queens, and Caleb hits the best of the flop with top pair and the king king or kicker, but a nice flop there for Miles with the Queens. Troubled hand here. Caleb, Jack on the turn, she does nothing. I should have lost more money. 
No what? But not on the river. No. 1,500 no. in the middle. No what? We'll have, we'll have a conversation. Look, I got two pair on the river. There's a flush out there. There's a full house out there. Why do I got a bet? Two pair. I don't. I was just disappointed. <laughs> 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 I should have bet the same. How much is that? Listen, you lost seven hundred dollars. Okay. Nine forty-five. Caleb asking for a count eleven hundred from. <laughs> he didn't lose it. He didn't Miles. make it. He lost it. Dollar not. Could have been. Could have been. It's not about what you had. It's not about what you got. It's about what you could have got. It's about what you could have got. When he picked up the flush draw on the turn, he could have been in. Thank you for thank you for supporting me. I'm always trying to love hearing the talk at the table. DFG, we are taking care of it. Well, or you would have been minus the hand you lose and maximize the hand you win. Now you want to do both. Well, you it's more important <coughs> to lose less than to win more. Miles, you got to get a hand. Run. It's better to overfold than overcome. Huh? Right. I agree. You do a great decent. You do the same thing you did to me earlier. Nine twenty-five, you said. Nine forty-five. Nine forty-five is the bet to call. All in from Miles. That's going to take this pot up over three grand if he makes this call. Yeah, King Queen Miles. I don't feel like he raised me a three flop with that. I feel like he got a fucking set of tags or something. Don't fucking draw him dead. This is a decision for Caleb here. Makes the call. He has three outs here. One time. What do you got? And here we go to the river. One time. Well, if I want to go. And they're going to go one time. Here we go. Nine forty-five. And Queens hold. Queens hold up. Hundred dollar pot going miles away. He's. Much needed pot here yeah. for Miles, who was uh, $1,900 profit, Vic, right off there. Off to a rough start. Nice hand. Something you do to my wife even texted me. How do you fall ACs? And I'm like, oh, thanks, honey. If, if you ever get asked, <laughs> Isn't that the, Isn't that the bitch? If you ever it get looks asked like we have a straddle from Caleb. Looks like 50 to go. I love him, and he usually has it there. She don't know that. She just thinks she should never fall ACs. A lot of people lost a lot of money hoping to get married to Asia. We got one call. Blake with Queen Ten of Diamonds. Going around the table. Oh, see John even gets out of the way. Nine three offsuit. Yeah, one of the few hands he won't play normally. Oh, it's a straddle. Fifty dollar straddle. One caller. Blake heads up action. And an A seven deuce board. Whatever his name is. I called him. Check, check. Here comes the turn. And the board pairs. Check, check. Here comes the river. I think Queen High right now has it. They're going to take it to showdown. And Blake is going to take down this pot with the Queen. Yeah, Blake up to 5,300 right now. Just killing it tonight. Good night in the office so far for him. Does the same bet with the king. Yeah, I Actually, know. this check was better than that. Cut your back, baby. I don't need it. Not, not, not by like, just by like a little bit, not a lot. Really? Because you do, you do, you can have two sets. You can have a lot of new sex, please. Okay. 
Under the gun for James, lets it go, pocket fives, Garrett. Ten dollars to call. Makes the call. Blake now king ten of diamonds. He's gonna raise it up. And make it forty. OG John been pretty quiet here tonight. Yeah, lately. Still for, showing a for profit, OG. but he's been pretty quiet. Yeah, for the OG it's been a little bit more tamed, I would say, than usual. And here comes a flop. And we have a 949 board, couple of diamonds, and Blake with the king high flush draw. Garrett with two pair. Blake was the pre-flop aggressor, aggressor, so he's going to continue here with a bet of 100, betting his flush draw. Garrett wants to look one up, makes the call. Piece of clubs. That even gives Blake some more outs. Now if an ace comes, he could counterfeit. Here with the full house, he holds. Check. Full house wins. Nice hand, Garrett. He's going to bring a profit of 230 over his way out of a 370 pot. Tough start for Garrett, but look at the comeback he's making. Yeah. He is charging up. It's almost, you know, he almost got called out earlier with a little banner at the table. Yeah. Saying he's changed. Does he gamble more? And I swear, almost a competitive switch I, I saw flick into him. Then he started switching it up, getting a little bit more aggressive at times, and then sometimes being weary. But like I said, mixing it up throughout the whole table. And he's on a nice run right now. Ryan Bishop saying he's got some history with Blake on that hand. Was that, uh, I'm assuming that's up in Detroit. Now Garrett, yeah, like after taking that pot down, raises up to 75 with Queen 10 miles out of the way. Scott out of the way with his ace. And we're going to go three-handed to the flop. Two-handed, excuse me. The heads up action and Garrett. I was at the table. Getting a little run good. He really you know, is. Flops. Yeah. When he finally started out, I had Hits the top pair with the queen kicker. Makes a bet. Um, Quick fold there from OG. And that feeling gets contagious, Vic. When you start <laughs> going like this and you bring out your arms and you bring those chips in, you want to do it more and more often. Yeah. That muscle memory is a nice one to have. Yes. Absolutely. Unlike, unlike my golf swing. I don't even want to know what my golf swing looks like. It's like once every couple of years at a bachelor party. It's my golf. Yelling at people to keep moving because crowds were forming. That's unheard of. Two hour, 15 minutes. Now the guy was rolling sevens, but he was doing it in between the points. He rolled two or three or four sevens in between the points. And then make a point and well, then just play the yeah, Jack nine of clubs for These guys Miles. He's going to limp in here. They were playing with five thousand. Ten dollars to call. OG John King ten. Know. Does he raise? I think so. A little over half a million. Now here comes the raise to 35. Will the real OG please stand up? Ace 10 for Buddha in the mid so mid story. Ace 10. And I sat there and watched it for another hour. And then I finally just I never look at the face on Buddha telling that story. <laughs> Is there passion in that voice? <laughs> Caleb Queen Jack, he makes the call. Minutes, we got a pot of brew in here, Dom. I just started piling the money in. You know. Garrett makes the call, so we're five-handed here, going to the flop. One eighty in the middle. Jack deuce four, a couple of spades. Both Caleb and Miles hitting a jack here. I'm thinking after an hour, this guy's got. Check it around to a free card. Courtside with the advantage on the kicker. Deuce comes on the turn. Also brings in hearts for Garrett. Caleb, Caleb bets it out. 100. And I was just six sitting there watching the numbers go by. 
for an hour. Wow. On the table. Being disgusting. Yeah, you know. Like, oh my god, oh my god, why'd I quit that? Why'd I quit that? And the flush hits for Garrett on the After river. After two hours, I snap. And I, I just put all my money on the table. And I put $5,000. 200 200 is the bet. They actually brought chips out. And a call from Caleb. Runner, runner, hearts. And this time, Garrett did bet it. See if Buddha notices that. I'm glad he didn't say I'm pulling gonna wanna Buddha take, right now. Yeah, Buddha's going to want to take credit for that, giving him lessons on uh, an earlier hand where he did not bet the runner, runner flush. They discussed that hand, I think, uh, pretty, I mean, uh, covered just about every aspect of it. Was he set in the dice? Just pick him up and throw him. When he How much did he make? He won back. He won like, uh, I think he won like 4000 I won that golden arm thing where you make all the points with 4000 $50 button straddle from Caleb. That was cool. But Garrett, when I got down on a run, why back, not? I laid 2000 When things are running your way, <laughs> stay in the hands. 7-5 mm -hmm. of hearts. Back over to Buddha. A weak king. Clubs. Pocket deuces. Checking his options, so we're going to go heads up. The mighty Ducks hand making an appearance. Ducks fly together, and here we go. Eight. Queen. Four. Rainbow board. Check, check. Free card. Just a gut shot, but Garrett does hit his five. Check, check. Free card. Here it comes. Oh, there's a straight. I went up 30, 50, or 150, or... And Garrett again with his muscle memory, bringing in more chips, adding to the stack, make it quite a comeback, really. So far it's the Garrett story here in this last hour, hour and a half. Each number pays out. Ends up being like a thousand, like thousand sixty-five like or something. One betting against one, like outside number. You know what I mean? Like just, I don't like half. There's our V pip for the evening. Picks them off. Yeah, like one of them. It's, hard to it's so cool when you got every one of them up there and they, right out. and they roll a seven right out the, yeah. right out the bat. And yeah. now you're free rolling. You get a seven early and yeah. you got nothing to work on. My quick count, I think, was around twenty-seven, twenty-eight thousand dollars on the table here tonight. We're going till eleven fifteen. I heard some lady at the Tropicana out. We're half an hour away from the power times. hour. Wow. Hey, you. This time James gets the deuces but gets out of the way. So if you were playing the don't, then you were killed. You were getting, getting killed. You were getting killed. <laughs> yeah. Four players going to the flop, 350 in the middle. A little bit of everything here, and we have a five ace three board. OG John hitting top pair has the best of it. Eight. Blake's going to make the call. He got a piece of this. Let's see if he can get lucky and paid off. Oh, he hits two pair now on the turn. Wow, five ten in the middle. Check, check, free card. Blake was hoping that OG John would make a bet there on the turn. Nice bet size. He's going to get a call here from OG. Does OG go over the top? Makes the call. And a $645 profit there for Blake. Continuing to run well. Now up close to 6000 in front of him. Yeah, he's having himself a night right now. I would have won. That's insane. No, I'm not bad. I haven't played craps in God knows how long. The cool thing about craps is And we got a dealer change. You don't play any more though. and watch. Try not to. Here comes young Patrick. I want to thank everybody for joining us tonight.
Our Tuesday night staple, 5 5 10, no limit hold'em cash game here at the reserve in Toledo, Ohio. Our next, next live stream will be Thursday night. That is also a five hour live stream. All the other great things about this place. It's, just, it's so crazy because I can go to a casino like not even. Well, you're not lucky. Lucky. It was crazy. Me first too. Very just just poker. Just poker. Yeah. When the casino first opened, I'd win a thousand. Poker way out. The book. They used to go out by the elevators. Oh. There used to be blackjack tables right there. I lose it every time. Really? Do you like blackjack? Not anymore. <laughs> I haven't played like blackjack in eight years. Garrett, position bet with the king four of diamonds. Nice position bet up to 50. Miles, a couple of clubs. Scott lays down the moose. And Caleb makes the call. 10-6 offsuit. Here we are, four-handed, going to the flop. Young Patrick in the box. Ace right in the window, Vic, for Miles. Fought with a 10 and a king. All hearts. I didn't know what I was doing. Well, you don't need to know. Not one player holding I, I didn't even know how one I heart in their hand. No, I didn't even know how I was winning. I didn't understand. Miles is still in the lead. It's black and white. It's black and red. Yeah, Garrett's going to come out with 25. Heads up action now. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Now the six of hearts. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, well, this is there's there's an absence of it. Oh. Severe absence. And we're gonna go heads up, or no, we're gonna go three-handed here to the flop. Jack five queen rainbow board. It's a lot of work though. It's really annoying. And right now, a pair of fives for Caleb. I think it's I think it's a really annoying game. Has the best of it. Probably gonna see a continuation bet here from James with the pocket threes. The worst part about it is when you don't. Question is, what is the right size? Three forty-five in the pot. Yeah. Oh, how you want to do this? Like, all the other games you bet, you win or lose, you didn't have to make a decision. Yeah, dice is fun. Dice, dice is fun. I know, I know. Roulette's you. fun, dice is fun. Those are my two favorite games. Baccarat. I mean, not Baccarat. That's a pie gal. That's fun. Check. It is because it's 6% six, six of the time, it's a push. You know, you play two hands. You play a two card hand against the house. Is it a poker hand? Yeah. yeah. Okay. You, you, you play it against the house. You get dealt two hands. You get dealt a five-card hand and a two-card hand. You get seven cards in your hand. You make a two-card hand and you make a five-card hand. Out of the seven cards. <coughs> well, that's kind of turning the three of a kind. The only way to lose is if the house beats you on the James two with threes oh. still in this and it looks like oh, he's like, reaching for chips. Looks like a double. Looks like double board. Yeah. Oh. So there, you push three and a quarter. Oh, that's pretty fun. So a nice and this is Let's where Caleb, there. you know, so, your so, table so image you helps you get paid that? off. Yeah, your, your money's just dead. It's you're you're done. Like I guess how you can you have to play it? You have to play you it. Have to play okay, because yeah. you're playing against the house. Well, you you put up your hand, and then once you see your hand. You don't have to, you to All right, we have 1300 now in this pot That's been a lot of going to the like river. There's always, you know, a game. And there's I a ton played, of hearts. Check. Probably a good thing. <laughs> what a check by Caleb. Yeah, because you got to make your point I think this could prompt on. James. Yeah, We're putting them all in a with only 600 in front of them, 1300 in the pot. Maybe trying to get him off a 10 or a jack. <coughs> He's going to check it. Even do it for Not you. take the bait. Nice check it. by James. Not falling for it. Okay, Buddha's feeling confident right now. Got a little mojo. A little extra spunk. $50 Oh. I guess Buddha, what, it was 10 on him. I thought for a second, guys, that Buddha was actually living dangerously and doing a blind call of 10. My mistake. We got a fifty dollar straddle in play. And Gene picking up Ace King raises it up to two fifty. Caleb's coming along. So is Garrett. Three players, seven sixty five in the middle. We have a Queen Deuce Eight board and court side with two pair. Heads up. Check in the dark. And now a full house for Caleb. 250. 250. And Gene still coming along. 1800 now in the middle going to the river. Check. Come on. 1200. About 13. And this would be the definition of a hero call. Twelve ninety five.
Gene's contemplating this. Call. And he calls with ace high. Caleb's going to show the full house. 4100 in the middle. Going to Caleb. And we talk about playing a certain way, playing aggressive, playing every hand, and sometimes you just have players that don't believe you and you get paid off, and there's an example of it right there. 4,100 going over the Caleb. Huge hand tonight. Wow. Getting closer and closer to the power hour. Still about 15 minutes away. By the way, if you're just tuned in, smash that like button. We always appreciate the love and support. And there's the updated winnings. Catch it. What a big swing at the table. But it's working. He gets paid. Oh. He probably had eight hundred. I feel like he had eight hundred. Oh. I think he had jacks. Yeah, and now Caleb picking up pocket jacks. Talk about getting a heater at the right time. Eight to seven rainbow board. Over pair for Caleb here. And he's going to take down this one. This one's a little bit smaller than the 4K plus, but it's still a pot. 105 going over to Caleb. Nice hand. Around the table. Wow, what a time to straddle. Pocket Kings. You love, uh, that's like, minus just winning the pot and getting the product done and making it official. There's no better feeling, Vic, when you straddle. Everyone gets to you and you see about seven six players in and you look down at queens are better so pocket kings you'll take it and everyone gets out of the way you're gonna profit a hundred bucks but no sweat it's a hundred percent owned and doesn't show it just folds it isn't that like when you were a kid and you came down a Christmas morning and you can tell under the wrapping that it's a bicycle it's the same feeling I I do have a Christmas that I wanted a bicycle, actually, Vic, and I got it. I was very thankful. Bicycle is not a normal thing I would ask for, but one year I outgrew mine. and I never asked for a Red Ryder BB gun like the Christmas story, though. I just got, you know, air rifle. But looking back, I wish I would have had that, too. I was a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle guy and G.I. Joe guy. That was, that was, those, and those were the hot items when I was a kid. Ghostbusters, throw those in there. Ten dollars a call, going around the table. Pretty friendly so far. And Garrett, Garrett again, waking Crazy. up. Oh, and James coming out with Ace Eight, trying to get rid of the dead money, but he's going to run into Ace King from Garrett. There's the three bet from Garrett. Two seventy-five to go, trying to get this heads up.
those young kids do. <laughs> Did Garrett just refer to James as a young kid? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't know what I heard there. But yeah, Jim's Jenny, uh, if I'm saying that right, uh, we do have the flop coming out here on the board uh, backwards. Uh, it has to do with the way our table is structured or set up with the uh, card readers underneath. You'll get used to it, trust me. It's not something we do in the main room on the rest of our tables but it is something that we do here on the live stream. Thank you for noticing. Appreciate it. Come here, buddy. Did you see him? Why you fucking yell at for it? Thank you. Miles, what did you fucking fold hands? He did? Yeah. Yeah. Miles, did you look at somebody's folded hand? Huh? Here comes the flop, and Caleb hits this well with his king queen. Remember when you mucked it? Continuation bet. Yeah. Yeah. I you just feel like after that big pop from Mr. Pepsi that Caleb might start going on a big tear as we are getting close to the power hour. We're not there yet, but about 10 minutes away. And you kind of work for that through the you know, first couple hours of the live stream. Getting a certain table image, working the table the way you want to kind of depict yourself. And this is the time when the action kind of builds up, Vic, before this live stream ends. This is where you can get paid off. Yes. And we just saw that about 10 minutes ago with Caleb. Literally getting a $4,000 pot, full double up, being called with ace high because of the style of play. Raise here in the cutoff from Caleb. Up to 25. James gets out of the way. Blake's going to come along. Miles coming along with the uh, Dolly Parton and Gene with two spades. 6 4. Here we go. Four players to the flop. 105 in the middle on a deuce four jack board. Couple of diamonds. Pair of fours for Gene. He's currently in the lead. There's a king. That does give a gut shot to Blake. Nobody with diamonds. Another free card. And there's the straight for Blake. Runner, runner, nothing funner. And I know... Uh, Blake, who's running really well here tonight. He's got a fan club out there. What's the matter, Scott? You don't ever sit down, buddy. What's wrong? I'm trying to eat some food. Eat some dinner. Oh, what do you want to get? Oh, I got some, bro. Oh, trying yeah, to eat it out there. Oh, you're trying to eat it. What'd you get, Mark? I got all of our. $20 bet button straddle. Actions on Scott. Folds by call here from Gene, 9-8. I'm going to try to stay somewhere like that, boy. Alan in the house. Three players going to the flop here, Vic. Alan H., what's going on? And we have a jack right in the window, followed with a seven and ace. All diamonds. Not one player has one in their hand, though. Right. No. Yeah, for sure, dude. Fourth diamond, I would expect Caleb to possibly fire at this. No. Okay. There. 
There's that bet. There it is. One card late. I don't know, big stack. But he takes it down. You fucking flop the nuts with five four. Yeah, I hope so. Come on now. I hope. I mean, wouldn't you want that? I'm not saying I don't. I'm just saying. You said is that fucking how easy this game is? You're kneeling me, I'm gonna kneel you back. Not kneeling you. Well, it's the opposite, I guess. Yeah, literally. <laughs> These kids don't go home like this. I'm glad you guys like each other so much. What the fuck was going on? What was he doing? This is the he even looks like. Courtside now looking down at Queen got? Nine offsuit. Yeah. Seventy. Seventy, 70 to go. He's Makes it you. seventy to go. Garrett with the suit of queen says that's good enough. And a big stack of chips in front of him. Yeah. I think I've seen this guy raise with everything. Give me a suit of queen. I'll see a flop. But right now he he's got a moan. Go to the flop, 160 in the middle, and we have a four key nine board. Caleb hits mid pair. Same bet. Sure. What is this? Seventy. I got some. Wonder Gable, it's not a bet. Yeah. Same bet. Hundred percent. Check. Check. Now the flush draw for Garrett. Interesting turn. Garrett, I checked to you, buddy. Check in the bag. And another pot there for Caleb. He's got momentum in this last 30 minutes, Vic. Yeah, the momentum has definitely shifted. I would say in the second half, really, Garrett and Caleb, they really put on a little switch there. They're starting to just kind of climb the ranks. I got my range. I wasn't getting that range. Get a nice chip stack in front of them. We have multiple players, though, not just those two. A couple other ones having monster nights. Oh, that's just, okay. All right. Johnny. Mm -hmm. What? I know you got stuff to say. You came over here with that smile. Yeah, you see it. What do you got to say, Johnny? Nothing. Right. Thinking stuff. Yeah, you know. 35 here thinking? for Scott to call. He's been a little he's quiet lately. I think he's going to raise this up with the king queen, and he does. Makes it 125 right into Gene's I've, pocket jacks. I've noticed Scott's gotten king queen a few times here, and a lot of players will say, oh, it's a trouble hand and whatnot. I will say this, even though Scott's been into a better hand right now, he gets more information with King Queen than I've seen anyone on our live stream where it's easier to let it go. You can kind of get a feel for where you're at. Oh, and, and look I at like Caleb. This. Look at Caleb here. Look at Caleb here. Two pair for Caleb on an ace, three, king board, couple of hearts. And he's going to bet it. Bet 250. He's got the table image here so far that I think he'll probably get a call. I could be wrong. Scott, the pre-flop aggressor, aggressor hits second pair. Look to see if he's going to look up another card here for 250. Careful, Scott. I'm careful. I'm careful. I flopped it. Dude, I fought the fucking best hand. Best hand. And lose that one into it. I, fold, I folded an ace, a big ace. And here we are. Dealer change, top of the hour. That means bomb pot time. When I actually was getting cards, I was VP thing more than. And yeah, just what we're getting into because that we that hand got in. But really, watch how you know certain players are playing ace queen king queen ace jack ace 10 certain hands that especially when you're in a tournament you'll hear you will you, you will hear a lot of tournament players complain about oh i get knocked out with that hand all the time well if you played a little bit more aggressive pre-flop but don't get yourself priced in you can get a little bit more information and it'll help you make decisions in post-flop play love seeing that tonight with a couple players especially scott 
and I think a lot of players should take note and see how he's playing it. I learned the hard way of my life. I want everybody. 225 in the pot, everybody in wow. 25 bucks, Those everybody gets similar cards. Good, wow, ace, queen, five, and ace, queen, seven. <laughs> My goodness. Okay. That's all I needed to know then, Buddha. Does anyone have king, jack, ten in their hand? I'm not seeing it right now. King, queen for bet for uh, Garrett. He's going to bet. Only one player with hearts right now with James, and it's only nine high. So he's not going to be overwhelmed. Garrett's got two pair on that top. You only have the greens? Really, Vic, no monsters out there. Those don't scare me. Just in case you have some purple. Two pair for Gene. Two pair for Garrett. I think Separate boards. What do you think? With Buddha with just ace king right now, you feel a little bit more confident than normal though when you see two aces and two queens out there. You don't like to deal with players. I think this is a time you could definitely peel one. Not to mention there's a club on both boards. You might turn something nice. Oh, and another wow, look at that great turn for Buddha. Turns trips. Also gets a flush draw. Garrett hits the uh, full house there with the queen seven. Wow. And he's going to bet 300. I don't think Buddha's going anywhere, though, right now. Gene gets out of the way. Yeah, that, those are two Betty, good turn cards in his eyes. He drops cards. Oh, he drops the whole deck right now. oh, wow. Four of a kind. Third sure. time we've seen four of a kind tonight, Vic. Was that your big pot? That 11,000? That was a big pot, wasn't it? Vic, have we broken a record for a live stream? Seen four of a kind? Uh, it could be. Have we seen three? three? In the meantime, Garrett's going to put a big bet out there, 1,100. <laughs> and it was going to be a chop, but Garrett's going to take this down. And look at the way Garrett is running tonight. 6,200. After a tough start. And that that got us another like. We're at 118. Let's keep it going because, ladies and gentlemen, we are just a minute away from what we call the power hour. One hour left to our live stream, and this is where we start to see... And I don't know how you can see the betting increase because it's been great action here tonight. And the range is opening up, and we have seen some <laughs> incredible ranges. Well, it could have worked out. I consider that you were going to lose and then you end up winning. Yeah, I think three, four of a kinds is, has to be the record. I, I, I just can't remember. I don't remember either. And two are, two are in Hold'em. And we are back to the Hold'em Akin and Gene uh, Jacks again. In the small blind, he's, he's going to call the uh, $25 button well, straddle. Oh, and look at this. Caleb coming back just in time. Looking down now at pocket queens, 25 to call. How big will this raise be? And they have history, obviously. Gene and Caleb have been playing aggressive against each other all night long. Raise it up to 175. Oh, we just saw one jack go in the muck. Jack five, quick fold. And an all-in here, and a snap call here Four from. Fucking times I have had these cocksuckers tonight. <laughs> okay. Will you want to watch twice? Want to twice? Three ninety-five. No. Sounds like they're going to run it one time. Momentum has definitely shifted to Caleb's way here. Oh yeah. And I think we saw both jacks go in the muck too. So he's going to need like clubs, a straight. We've got queens. Wasn't it queens you had the other time, too? 880 in the pot. He's, he's, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's a queen. Wow. But that's actually good. He, he gained a lot of outs. Yeah, he's got four outs Yeah, now. that's actually a good thing for him. He hit a set. He can get a king now. And nope. No, the queens are going to hold up here for Caleb. Trips on the flop. Nice hand. 880 going Caleb's way. 460 profit. One more bullet. I don't think I, I, don't think I want to hit that. You had quads two hours. Three times today. Yeah, that's the last time I won a hand. Well, you we got to try harder. <laughs> Play lucky. Just sell another roof tomorrow. Raise the prices. Yeah. 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 
Good luck, guys. All right, take care, Gene. That is going to be it for Gene tonight. It's been a tough a night, tough and uh, always great to have. I always appreciate any time that man comes in this building yep. and plays poker. Gene, Gene, nothing the but class. Yep. Sorry, Gene. Classy at the table, classy away from the table. Just all, overall great guy. Mr. Pepsi, it's always a pleasure, sir, and uh, hope next time you're on here you have a little bit better luck. We've seen him have some monster nights on here in the past. Yes, where he's won a couple thousand in a sitting. So good poker player. Just one of those nights where the cards weren't running good and. Talk to well, they ran a couple times for him with quads, but uh, <laughs> not, quite, not quite enough here. Yeah. On the other hands, Buddha now ace king. Here's the action. It's on me, sorry guys. Yes, it is on you. It's okay, you're slowing the game See you guys next time. See you, Gene. <laughs> and he's just gonna limp I mean, no in. Gonna a, I think he knows a raise is coming from. From Caleb, and there it is. Yeah. 75, Garrett coming in with a pocket threes. What does Buddha do here? He's aware of the table dynamic. And a raise. And he makes it 500. Both Caleb and Garrett. Big stacks in front of them. Yeah, DFG, we will, uh, after this hand. Just a casual 1100 in the pot. And we have a 4-8 king board. They go check, check, free card. Check. There's a pair for Caleb. Check. And check, check again. Caleb not taking the bait. Top two, two pair for here for Buddha, who just gave a uh, sermonette on not betting your hand. One pair. And it goes to showdown and uh, Buddha. $580 profit here on this pot. And he got max value by playing it that way, though. I mean, I don't think Caleb is going to get crazy there. And we have another request for the V Pip. Chosen one if you get a chance. I think the race for 90% at the end of the night is getting across the message board. They want to see if Caleb can hit 90% for the whole night. Well, Seems last time we thing. looked at it, he was at 89%. He had been above 90% most of the night. And we know that uh, Tyler will respond in a moment. Remember, I said two. after I think DFG put it at 78% the over-under, I still think the real over-under should have been 85%. I think he was looking at a different book. book. Oh, you I think so? I did the proper one. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's possible. Yeah. You no know, different websites have different lines sometimes. You get the hook at one website, the other one it's you know flat. What did you have? Would you call five hundred dollars with nine what? Nine six of hearts. Okay, yeah, I stand corrected. It's a big lick. Five handed ten bucks a piece and we got a ten nine jack board. Well you were live. Blake with top pair and an open ender. And Blake's been running the best tonight. And he's also been playing really good, though, too. So when you got a good player and he's running good, dangerous, that's why he's at his initial buy in. And he's up to 6K. No rebuys, no nothing. I know you're calling. Six of spades. Two players with gut shots staying in this one with him. So far. Let's see what this... Uh, see what happens here now with Blake. Got top pair, open-ended, way ahead in this hand. 
Another spade comes out here with the turn of the six of spades. But he's going to go ahead and check it. Okay. Now a bluffing card potential here for Caleb and James. We've seen the tables kind of catching on. Players are not taking the bait. People have been sandbagging. And right here, you're in a position with Blake where you're pretty much only getting called with the hand that beats you. I won't be surprised if he just checks this. I mean, you can go for some value. There's only 170 in there. Doesn't hurt to throw out 50 or 60 and maybe try to get something. Are he's going to go big? Make it look like he's bluffing? More than one way to skin a cat. Maybe someone's going to put him on an eight or a king only. And I think that's what, why Caleb's going to call this, just in case. Just in case. And I, probably the bet sizing got him paid off there. Betting big. So, well played, Blake. By the way, the message board has been very active tonight. I got a comment on Fast Eddie. He says, oh, brokies, I'm assuming bookies and Cleveland scared the play big like us Detroit players. Well, I'm going to tell you this right now. I'm from the Detroit area, and I would never play with a guy named Fast Eddie. That sounds too <laughs> stereotypical of a hustler. Uh, Fast Eddie, I've never met you. I don't know you. But if your name's Fast Eddie, I'll pass. Yeah. Back to the poker action here. That's like my theory about pizzas. Would you play with Pizza Steve, Pizza Frank? I don't want to play with guys that have pizza in their name, especially <laughs> if they're Italian, and this is coming from someone who's half Italian. Blake under the gun raises it up. 3 5 of clubs. He's having one heck of a night here. And he's going to get number of callers here, so we're going to go six handed to the flop. OG John with the ace jack. Strongest hand so far. Pretty flop, and here it comes. A couple of deuces with a nine with some diamonds. And right now, it looks like Caleb flopping two pair has the best of it. But a free card, and oh, he turns oh, the bow. Oh, wow. And that could give some action for Miles now with eights. We shall see. And there it is. A smooth call here from Caleb. <coughs> Miles bet that pocket eights. What do you got, Miles? Yeah, Caleb. Like 4,000. That deuce just throws a <laughs> wrench into everything. Who you got, Caleb? Board. He says the board. I do now. I so, uh, got two votes. I got two votes. And Miles is going to pay him off. Shows the king nine. No. That was actually a good one. That was a great river for Caleb. We have some talk on the message board about the Detroit area and the poker scheme, and I will say this. I am loving that we are getting more Detroit play down here in Toledo. Also, you know, Cleveland, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Columbus has been a part of this recently, Vic. Love seeing, you know, multiple uh, players from multiple cities come here, kind of in the, the central part where it's not crazy long for anyone to travel. Yep, Dayton, and Ohio, and Buddha. Yep. look at this. Buddha waking up with pocket aces. 
raises it up to 500 after a $50 button straddle and a call from OG John. OG yeah. John with just pocket threes lets it go. Buddha, $120 profit on that hand. Buddha, a minute ago. That's a very, very bad bet. And uh, chosen one, if you could uh, get us that beat pip sometime soon. Appreciate it. And there it is. Caleb just shy of 90%. And Scott, James, and Blake really having a great night. And their feet pip, all three of them, doesn't come close if you add it all up <laughs> to Caleb's. And OG John's been pretty quiet tonight. I think his VPIP is a little low compared to what he normally is. Right. But he's just not seeing uh, opportunities. That's it. Are you sure? Hard to make a pair in this game. This is no pair. That's what I'm saying. You're starting off well. On me? Yeah. Oh, fuck. I apologize. You can tell me too, buddy. It's okay. Everyone forgives you. James now on the button. A7 is going to raise it up to 50. Vic, you were slacking, dude. You're 12 minutes late. No, I announced it a minute ago. You did? Ago. Oh, I did. then I apologize officially yeah. to my partner. I thought he missed the power hour no, start no, time. I announced it with like 30 seconds to go. I must have been reading the message board. We are in the power hour. And we got a jack, king, queen board, couple of clubs. Pair of jacks with a gut shot is the best hand right now. Blake has it. Okay, it's $30 off. Continuation bet here from James, 100. Blake decides to get out of that, got out of his way. I think that's a respect fold right there. Like I said, James hasn't really had any glaring mistakes tonight. Probably wish he was picking up a few more hands. Being dealt to him, but overall he's doing the best at what he's been getting dealt. You win 100 bucks, that's what matters. Did he raise the 500 AK? Yeah, and he called. Just even keel through the whole night. Nine high. But on that one, he did. Yeah. Have you noticed know that about no, James? No, when you, no, when you just, when you just What's read Just pretty even keel throughout the whole yeah, night. Yes. I mean, he doesn't really yeah, give away any tells or reads at the table. He's just kind of just hanging out, chilling, calm, yeah. cool, and collective. Well, he and he didn't have we talk about the cadence. Um, the, the time to analyze the bet, the flop, your option. And we made these comments, I believe, when James was uh, playing in the Millie, that he seems to have the same cadence uh, all the time. Plus, I got the biggest call station in the world over here in the Tennessee. You don't call with threes? Because I didn't call. I call, he calls. So Blake's going to... Yeah. Call here with Ace Jack offsuit. Kind of thought that we might see a raise there. OG John, Ace 10, and Caleb with Queen 5. And here comes the flop from Kara. We got a King 5 4 board, all hearts. Blake flopping the Ace High flush draw. Just a pair of fives for Caleb. He has the best made hand currently. Check it around, free card. A well, couple straight draws now come into play. The deuce comes. So OG John wants to figure out what's everybody doing here. Let's put 75 out and see. Snap call there from Caleb and a call here from Blake. And the seven of hearts comes in the play, Blake. With the ace high flush. Blake sticks around and hits that flush. Let's see if he can get paid off. My dad made a good point the other night, though. So, uh, had, uh, 420 in the middle. Uh, just a few hundred dollars. Looks like just under 300 he's betting. I was crying about it. And, uh, he said, and he's going to take that down. Profit about 285. For the month. Nice hand, Blake. I'm feeling sorry for myself for losing like five or six hundred dollars. Just the way that it happened. We are the reserve. Toledo, Ohio. So, five, five, ten. No limit. Hold'em. 
Cash Game, our live stream. Our next live stream will be Just Thursday night. There's a four-hour window where you book the loss. It don't mean you're down. Mm -hmm. You're just down for that tiny four-hour window. Why are, you, why are you upset about it? I mean, if you're a winning poker player, in the long run, you're making money at this. That's what you should focus on. If you start focusing on the last three hours. It's all luck. James, who we were just talking about, very even like keel, very consistent, one having one a pretty good night so far. Not a great night, but he's going to raise it up here with pocket eights to 75. Heads up action between these two. As long as you die ahead, good. Dirty diaper alert. Once you get out so far Couple ahead, of aces with the king. You're never going to be I'm so fucking far ahead. I'm not, I'm not going to lose that much. I mean, I'd have to try to lose. It's pretty easy at this point. It's pretty easy to do that. To try to lose? Yeah. Because not you, but some people fuck around and find out something. Hey, 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 Winning 500 is no, no good anymore. They want to win 5,000. Yeah. And, and, and winning 500, you're like, you're like well, that was pointless. Right. There's Scotty Wynn, win. yeah. the Prince of Poker, and there's our updated cumulative winnings. As you yeah, see, Blake is profiting 4,500 right now, having a great night. Garrett's up there, Scott, James. Cor look at courtside Caleb coming back, being stuck. Down around, what, 1,900, 2,000? He's up 388 bucks. Yeah. Miles also grinded his way back up 95 when he was stuck earlier. Like I said, this game, unbelievable swings. Here we go, five-handed to the flop. We got a seven, five, eight, oh, four, two boy. pair for Caleb. Two pair for Buddha. Open ended straight draw for OG John. And two pair for Blake. <laughs> and Garrett even has bottom pair with a gut shot. Everyone smacked this board. Garrett. Big hand alert. Yeah, Garrett gets out of the way though. We might see all the chippies come in. This is going to be a big hand. Call your friends, call your neighbors, call your cousins. We are in the power hour going to 11.15 tonight. You save me a bite? I will. I will appreciate that. Oh my, announcing a fold here with top two pair. But OG John is going to make the call. What a fold. Or was that, that I'm sorry, that was a 7-5. That yeah. wasn't the top two. Two players had 7-5 though in this yeah. hand, then 8-7 the to the top. Play. Yeah, the top two pair here are for Buddha. <coughs> Whoa! Oh my goodness! Wow! OG Hi, John. John now with six you outs. Oh, you know, another day. Another oh, what day a card! Now. Action killer. Check. Good. I'm gonna check with you, John. Check. We got two players out. <laughs> right. Is that the objective? Check. I just got two pair. I know. Oh, oh, fuck. Yep. Yep. Look at that. How the hell do we all hit that flop? Holy fuck. That flop that? was hit by Not multiple. Two. I am I shocked. I, 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 you see I am shocked. With too. what yeah, we've bottom. seen tonight, that there was only 1,000 yeah, in that pot with That's three sick. players hitting two pair and OG John having an open ended straight draw. And our chat board's going to light up now. Well, I, I see it. it. There's no logic. I mean, if you've been watching the stream all night, if someone told you. <laughs> that Caleb and OG John are going to be in a hand with just pick any two other players in the, in, yeah. at the table. 
And you're going to have three players flop two pair, and OG's going to have an open-ended straight draw. You're thinking minimal 3,000 possibly in there. Minimal. And somehow, but I will admit the turn card was a big factor in that. But still, even on that flop, the fact that we didn't get more in there. <laughs> You Where is Buddha? Bro, you did well. Where is Bro, Buddha the right way. there? You're damn right I do. OG John you're now <laughs> picking up Hell Kings. Yeah. He's just going to make the call for Miles to raise the 50. To do. And here comes Caleb with 10-3 of clubs. The momentum has certainly been in Caleb's favor. Let's see if it continues. Yeah, OG John flopping top set, though, saying, nah, uh Momentum's coming here. My spot. I just paid a guy off. Free card, four clubs. And that locks it up. He's going to just try to get more money in the pot. Yeah, there's only 155 in there. Hoping he gets a loose call. But I just, I knew. Who, wait, what did you have that hand, John? We had, we had two pair, two pair. Five, six, seven, eight with the ten. Nine comes, I got a ten straight. I got an open end straight. You hit it? No. Oh. No, but I know I got an open end straight and can't hit it. We all smack the shit out of that. You ball. hit that one. Smack the absolute shit yeah. out of that. Yeah. Who's got a play? Yeah. That, that was a mysterious hand. I'm still kind of in shock that that. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> so what we've, we've seen Ace High yeah. be a part of a $4,000 pot. We have three players flop two pair, and there's only 1000 Like I said, poker is a crazy game. Fuck out of that next one. <laughs> I'm so glad that shit, man. Caleb gonna raise here to 80 with Jack 10. Garrett making the call. Blake making the call. Miles making the call with pocket nines. Yeah, I just keep thinking. And an ace for OG John, and he makes the call. We've got 415 in the pot. Five players, Kara in the box, giving us this flop here. Five, queen, six, okay. on the flop, rainbow board. Garrett with a pair of sixes, same with Blake, nines for Miles, holding right now. What the fuck? And a free card. And now ace eight, get some life. Open-ended straight draw. Also, look at Blake. Well, Garrett's open-ended here with a pair. I love Blake's hand with eight, six of hearts. With a pair, open-ended straight draw with a flush draw. With a flush draw. I've been sitting over here all fucking night thinking about where we played together at, and I cannot think of it. But I feel like it was some bigger tournament. All right. Huh? All right. I'll be 38 this month. 14 years old. Is that my papa? Oh, you're talking to Scott. Sorry. You're talking to me. I'm almost 14 years older than me. I'm going to address your question about getting into the game here shortly. Just stay with us. We'll get through this hand. John of 84. Got a big hand brewing. Look good, though, John. I'd do you. What Cinderella say when she got to the ball? Tell me again. <laughs> Another ah. open ender here for John. And he's going to call <laughs> Oh, oh, this is naive. Oh, it's hell. Get me out of this hand. I'm sorry. Only oh, me and Caleb know that. <laughs> 1,000 in the pot. Only Caleb and I know that. Yeah. And we've got a chop now between Garrett and Blake, depending upon how this betting action happens. I'm sorry, Garrett. You heard worse. 4.30. 4.30 from Garrett. And Garrett now up close to 7,000. We are the reserve Tuesday night live stream, 5510, no limit hold'em, 1,000 to 2,000 dollar buy-in, match the stack. If you want to be on our live streams, we're also here on Thursdays and Saturday nights with 1-3 games. It's as simple as picking up the phone. Give us a call. The schedule is uh, there on the grease board in the cage. And you can get yourself on the list. Four parts would have been absolutely delicious. This Tuesday night does have a tendency to fill up early. 
Oh, here we go. Miles raised it up to 50 with ace jack. We got a three bet from OG John with tens. James here with the Mighty Ducks hand, pocket deuces. Good hand, John. Do you have anything? And he's going to take it down pre flop. Pretty close. I actually have 40% accurate. I can't. With to no. the nine though, or Why? to the ten. Sorry. No. All right. Okay, so I was going to the Still needs one more. But I have hearts. Oh, yeah. Do you have hearts? Yes. It's not very nice. Yeah. Especially if the other one's a king. You'll see it, dude. Sick. I almost raised. 50 on the button. Real. Can you hear it to be the burn? And that's a straddle, by the way. Go, G. John. Making the call. 9 4 of hearts. We know what the 9 4 is. I have a pair, I'm going to bet it. 7 couple of diamonds on board and we have the straight for Caleb two pair now for OG with the second seven on the turn Caleb's going to raise this up OG John coming along and here we go Caleb didn't need it but he's got the flush Flop the straight, river to flush. Yep, that's a monster. So did you at one? I'll ask you again. At one point, at I was nervous. I ain't gonna lie. John fucking said he didn't have a hand, and then all that shit comes up here. He could have easily had like oh, seven. Oh stop it! There. Caleb's uh, not nervous. Oh, Rubbish. Out. Hogwash. When did your fucking book come out? <laughs> I'd like to read that. Max, thank you there for that compliment. We really appreciate it. And we really appreciate everybody being on the uh, chat with us tonight. We're at 123 likes. We still have a half an hour to go. I believe we could get to 150. But how about at least 130? If you haven't hit that like button, please do so. And also, it helps us a great deal if you subscribe. He likes playing at a disadvantage. That's, that's all I hear. That's all I hear. He likes playing at a disadvantage. A little quiet for Scott recently, but under the gun, he's going to raise it up with ace seven of hearts. OG John coming along. If the king does hit, they're going to think, oh, you don't have a king. Queen five of diamonds. Jesus, man. I'm. There's a call from Caleb. You guys are way above my, way above me right now. So we're gonna go three-handed here to the flop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. One forty in the middle. That was that was equal. I, that was and his two hands later. He does the same thing. No, no, no his was. You got a five, worse. ten, my six square. board. Wait, no, yours was actually worse. Oh, fuck. Mine, I had a pair on the board. Yours, yours was all. But I'm not. Yours was really bad though. <laughs> yours was really bad. His was worse though. I would say. I would say his. So let's say you were in my spot. Yes. I bet. I bet. How much is this? How much is this? How much is this? 1200. Big. Weird. There's thousands. I could bet six. A full. All right. And then he. Or five. And then, and then he makes it. That's <laughs> right. Oh, well. the pump fake. <laughs> All right. Here we go. I don't want to do that. I don't want to hold my. But okay. Okay. So what if he doesn't come over the top at all? And you still lose. Like just like that. What's he calling with? Pretty tough. OG John takes it down uh, on, a, on a paired board with the flood. Are we still talking about this funny game? Bullshit? <laughs> Whoa, I, I, don't don't believe, I don't believe it. Hey, Big Tom, thanks for the tip, buddy. We really do appreciate that, brother. $20 from Big Tom. And, uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing you for coming in this weekend. I know myself and Vic will be here Friday. I'll be here. We'll be here Friday dealing, and then Saturday we'll be doing our live stream. But, no, really appreciate that love, brother. Thank you so much for that. Super grateful. Let's say you don't have the flood. 
Put you just right had a now a twenty-five dollar button stra or, or, or straddle, regular straddle from uh, OG John. You call it. I just don't think there's a hand that's worse than two pair that you're calling with on a, on a paired board with a flush. Hey, Big Tom, is that Tom D, by the way? I don't want to give out your last name, but I'm pretty sure it's the Tom uh, that you, you play down here on our tournaments, most of our big ones, and occasionally on our, you know, you'll pop in sometimes uh, just for a normal one, too. Here's a raise from uh, Caleb to 80. Ace five of clubs. Garrett coming along with a couple of spades, and now Blake pocket jacks in the small blind. Oh, a little bit of everything here, huh, Vic? Suited king, suited ace, king queen, nemesis suited, and then you got jacks. The nemesis suited for miles. King oh, jack of oh, clubs oh. gets out of the way. OG John, the straddler, oh. folds. And Caleb coming along. Jacks versus Ace Five of Clubs. Twelve hundred in the pot. Here comes the flop. Seven, eight, three. Couple of diamonds. And according to our graphics, they both have a similar stack size in front of them. There's a call. Oh, oh, the ace on the turn for Caleb. Wow. But Blake still has the diamond draw now. So he picked up some outs. The oh, and there oh, my it is. goodness. There it is. The old suck and then the re-suck out. I don't think he got lucky. I think he got lucky on the turn, and then he got lucky on the river. Uh, but he had to pre-flop it on the flop. But I get what Caleb's feeling. Oh, it sucks oh, when you get lucky and the I, I person re you. you. But, yeah, Tom, I appreciate you, brother. I thought that was you. Thank you again for that $20 tip and always a pleasure seeing you at the tournament tables. I think I've dealt Tom pretty good, actually, when I do deal those big tournaments. I'm just saying, Tom, I don't know if you remember, but I think we've had some good sessions where I've dealt you where you've been definitely up more chips than when I've sat down for that half hour. Call Give you a little run good, I know, one time for sure. Mm -hmm. And then flop the, flop the straight. That's fucking terrible. Damn it, John. Ace King suited for Miles. Raises it up to 50. The nemesis, or not the nemesis. I thought I saw it coming up. I was like, oh, abort, abort, no nemesis. Caleb's going to come along. I think that was. I, I don't. Th yeah, obviously it's not 503. Maybe 53. I did not push this game. Live stream is going uh, till 11.15 here tonight. This game sometimes goes uh, right till 10 till 11.15. Other times goes another hour or sometimes, as you mentioned on the chat, we'll go till 2, 3, 4, 5 o'clock in the morning. What? Caleb, your first act, sir. We've got uh, four Toledo guys here for the most part between Caleb, Garrett, Miles, and OG John. But yeah, everyone's from. So the, the rest Midwest of the guys uh, kind of have a, a, a drive, if you will, and it kind of depends on who's got to go where after the stream is over. We got Cincinnati, we got Detroit, we got Cleveland. A little bit of a variety pack at the table. Well, Are there 12 more likes out there? Get us to 150. Here comes the flop, three-handed. Three -handed. Ooh, queen right in the window. Fall with the second lady. 
And then a 10 to hearts. I'm going to just say advantage, Caleb. From what I've seen tonight when everyone whips on the flop, but... I, okay. Here we go, James. He hasn't been getting cards all night. Now he's going to switch it up a little bit. Yeah, good table image. Good spot here for him to make this bet. I'm glad to see this. The interesting to see if he does show here. <laughs> well, and, and I'm, what I was saying, it has been an advantage when everyone's missed the flop the whole night if Caleb's in the hand. He's been the aggressor. He's taken down a couple right. pots. So it's kind of nice seeing someone else take that role right there. So, James, nice play. First, first time you went there, they were scared. To, you were going all in in the dark. They were scared to call you up with Ace King. I heard. Yeah, and Tom was yeah, mentioning was possibly coming here on the message board on our 10, 10K guarantee on Saturdays. Guys, that is a great tournament, great value. I uh, highly recommend you coming in for that 10K on Saturdays here. It's getting better and better as the week goes. We just started doing that a few weeks ago, and it's growing and growing. Yeah. It really is. James now pocket nines under the gun. Raises it up to 75. There we go. Blaze King suited. Oh, boy. Like boy. Man, is he getting cards tonight, too. Big hand alert. Not, not a lot, but a lot. You know what I mean? Let's see how big. And then every time you do. Three raise. 325. There's a three bet. You know what I mean? He catches you. 325. He is on a heater. He's trying to turn up the temperature. Cool. This pot is a building now with Caleb coming in, king four. 250 for James to make this call. Gamble. We talked earlier about James's cadence, the time that he takes to make his decisions stays pretty consistent. Although I will say he's taking a little time right here because this is a tough, tough decision. Yeah, right. I mean, because sometimes with nines, too, you want to re-raise. And he might be, if he thinks they're sharing cards, which they are, yeah, the re-raise is a good play here. He's definitely a bigger favorite than normal. And they're both sharing a king. So there's enough in there where if you can take it down now, or in this situation, from what we can see, you want to get it in there against ace king, especially when you're seeing king four. Yeah. And play. Not to mention, have you seen him make this play all night? That might be going through Blake's mind, even though he's got Ace King suited. Like, do I really want to flip for half my stack? I, I understand no why he folds that hand. And will he show this one? I know. And he doesn't. So Lays it down, and that's a $660 profit there for James. I, I don't mind that fold at all with Ace King right there. Um, obviously, there's certain times I'm not folding Ace King, but in that situation, you see a player who hasn't made that play. And we even saw some of the cards. That, that's kind of sometimes when people get married, the ace king pre flop, and they treat it like aces or kings. There's a good example there. We saw the other opponent have king four. So there's one of your six outs. I didn't even look and see if there was another ace or a king that went in the muck there. I'm assuming there was maybe one. Maybe. Maybe, but I wasn't looking at all the hands that were being folded. So you're basically going to call, have about four outs, to, four, five to four outs to draw. That was a, that was a good fold there. Like I said, some players get a little bit too married the to ace king pre flop. And at best, you're flipping. Yes, we are on a 15 minute delay on our live streams. All the players are required to put their phones, turning off the ring or up on the shelf, as well as any smartphones. So here we go, four handed to the flop. OG John, 5-3 of hearts. And he flops open-ended. Buddha with the best of us with Jack-10. Jack. And a free card. Check it around. 
and then I was going to call. Yeah, a couple of diamonds with a 10. Open it, straight draw and play for the OG and a free card. That's dangerous. Buddha's going to raise his <coughs> tens. Caleb now. Open for either a five or a nine. Or an ace. Obviously, we're getting it all in. And Buddha's basically checking to have a bluff catcher here. I won't be surprised if anything under 500 he's going to call. We'll see it. There's a $940 profit for Buddha. Now, there's a topic of that ace king play. Yeah. And like I said, I can go with the call there and I can go with the fold. I was just defending the fold, trying to play both sides, guys. I don't know about you, just discussion though. Yeah. I like the discussion very much. If you know you're in a situation where you're. You're run. You're up 4K, and you're just running good, and you're smacking flops, and you the whole night, you're getting your cards in where you're a 70% favorite or higher. Do you really want to then, when you pretty much put the player on close to the hand, and he might even have a bigger pair, but it's pretty clear he's got a pair. At best, you're coin flipping. Do you really want to put your half your stack you've been grinding up when you're running good, you're hitting flops, you're flopping straight, you're getting two pairs, you're you're getting big pairs at the right time when you're running good it you just those are the nights i think when you're card dead yeah and you're not getting hands while you're playing cash and if you get ace king maybe for sure get a little bit more married to it because you're like hey i haven't got nothing tonight but on certain nights where you're just getting you're playing good and you're getting the deck thrown at you a little bit stay out of the coin flip situation yeah, that's a very interesting perspective yeah absolutely four-handed now coming into the flop and Garrett flops two pair here. It's a rainbow flop. Dom, I understand what you're saying here. And it's James. If it's James or Buddha, don't you think a little bit differently? Like, or Scott. Yeah. Yeah, if I'm playing at that table this whole live stream, I am treating James and Buddha. <laughs> And actually, Scott probably it's differently right. pre-flop like, than the rest of the like table. Every time. The fourth, the fourth time, I'm not going to play the same well, against every single yeah. player. So yeah, those three you, four you bet me. Playing, I'm going to look at my hand a little bit I, differently. No, no, I made a Levine deal. in the house. Hey, Levine. Very, very tight pool. And your your check, by the way, was a great play. On the oh, no, and no, on, uh, Caleb catches well, up here. So He's on, got the straight. When, when you had king queen. The top two? Yeah. Right. A bet of 100 from Garrett, a raise from Caleb, and a call. And Caleb's going to profit 1,200 on that flop. This is what we call a power hour hand, without a doubt. You can't open the door, you can't close. I love it. So, no. Yeah. You guys learned Are we still talking about that hand picking? I didn't chime in on it yet. But the whole time I was thinking that 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 would be quite like that. It's a good no bet there. Yeah. So what do you think about him not betting the street? On the flood or oh uh, on the river when the board cared? Uh, so you're in for five. If he if he had a set, he would have played. Shadow. He would have played that button. Shadow. Fifty. Yeah. Fifty. Yeah. Thank so you. So he Thank didn't you. he didn't river above. Yeah. So I, see, James, there, was, there were some draws out there. It's a button. I, I, I say James is right. What is I did the I right so. thing. Garrett did the wrong thing. <laughs> yeah, I still, still won that. I also think there's plenty of merit for him to bet, though. Fifty dollar like, button straddle. Action. That's the problem. But there's there's plenty of merit for him to bet that hand. On the river or on the turn? 
On the turn, I could have been. On the turn, I should have been. But he's not full. Did you have? Did you have top two on the river? OG John oh, raising it up to 125 with Ace King. Buddha looking down at Jack A in the cutoff. Needs 125 to call the button straddle from Caleb, and he is going to complete and come into this hand, and so is Garrett. So we're going to go three-handed to the flop. Ace seven versus Ace King versus King six. Here's the flop. Oh boy, <laughs> six three Ace. Couple of hearts. Oh boy. Yeah, two players hitting top pair. Caleb also mid pair with the King of Hearts in his hand. Caleb and Garrett could not get their chips in there fast enough. Oh, and the deuce. Spades. He's not. Doesn't help anybody. Dude, how how can you? There's not. Because you just said that and then. To a race. Yes. So, then, so now I can be the well, Actually, I'll take that back. It always helps player. the person with the best hand. <laughs> it was a blank. <laughs> so hard. it helped He's OG nothing. John that deuce of spades. Yeah. Ah, come so, on, Gary. So he, oh, has a specific, he has specifically just had a naked ace of diamonds. That's it. That's yeah. OG. I don't, I don't, I, I and I want to get, I can't read everything on the I mean, message board right now, guys. I can't really, but I can tell we're still talking about the ace king. I want to say this statement. We don't talk politics at the poker table. But if we had to say exactly. there was That's some poli saying. the politics yeah, of yeah, poker, yeah, yes. controversy, yes. yes. I think playing ace king is the politics of poker. It's the hand here. that basically everyone will complain, especially tournament players, on losing with. Oh, I hate ace king. I lose with it. Then if someone, heaven forbid, someone folds it pre-flop, then 90% of the field will be like, how did you fold Ace King? Yeah. You know, so it's like most people will complain about losing with Ace King, but then when someone doesn't want to gamble with Ace King, you'll see some players agree with the play, but a lot of players will be like, how can you do that? So there has to be some middle ground there with Ace King, which I, well, I almost want to nickname it the politics of poker. Well, and here it comes. Ace King, Ace King. Look at this. <laughs> here we go. Wow. I like it. I like it. Clean up the, right. the riffraff. Hey, he's coming in no matter what. 400. Here we go. A three bet now. A four bet from Garrett. I say, I say most players, that hand, like, I had it right there against you. Look at this pre-flop action here, Vic. You didn't think I was bluffing this spot? And we're going to get a call here. Two players going to the flop. 890 in the pot. Here it comes. Buddha let his ace king go. Here comes a continuation bet from Garrett. How big is it going to be? And he shows the jack 10. No, he made a 75. That was very I think that show is because he got called out by Caleb saying, what happened to you? You don't gamble anymore? Yeah. And he just showed him I can gamble. Now, I do. I did just see here, Dr. Boring says, uh, basically, like, no pro is ever fully an ace king, especially suited. But yet we've seen Dr. Boring fold a better hand preflop and be correct in pocket queens. So, Dr. Boring, I want to go by your action or your words. You're on here saying that you're not going to, that no one ever folds Ace King, but you've been on the live stream, which you made a correct fold, and Pocket Queens are a better hand preflop than Ace King. So, which one is it, Dr. Boring? You're, 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 you're on this live stream folding Queens preflop and being correct, or are you on the message board saying no one's ever going to fold Ace King preflop? I want to know. I'm just saying. Inquiring minds want to know. And look at this. We're going to see, I think, a limp pot, smallest pot of the night in the power hour as well. And we're going to go seven-handed. Uh, 
I don't know that we could see any more drama tonight, but it's still coming. And shout out to Dr. Bourne. He was correct about folding those queens. He made the right fold. It was either kings or aces, I forget. But anyway, back to the hand. We got the nemesis with Buddha. Caleb's got a flush draw here. So he raises it up. He's got seven outs. Buddha makes the call, and here comes the turn. And a six of hearts, and now the ten of clubs. Ooh, the flush for court side. Getting it up to 4,300. That momentum coming back his way again. I mean, I get the blocking thing, but if I'm a, this is me and Dr. Bourne, you play bigger poker than I do. Um, so I do have respect for you on that, but I have played uh, two five and five five for a stretch of time, and I am. It's a lot easier for me to fold ace king than pocket queens. Wasn't Even bad. though you're not blocking, there's yeah. literally oh, with pocket queens on only two hands in the deck that have you dominated. Ace King, you have any pair that you know in the game. I love the talk, by the way, message board peeps. I love the talk. And we got three handed going yeah. here, two fifty yeah. in the middle, <laughs> and we have seven, six, seven. <laughs> Couple of hearts. That's exactly what it is. Got a gut shot with two overs for the OG. Who's going to play it slow with against two ace highs? Looks like everyone's being proper and checking. Wow. Here we go. Another seven. Everyone's got three of a kind right now. I didn't go over the top. I knew what he had. Ace, king, ace, queen. I kind of draw him slim. You know? Because the other hand before that, he's calling it. Well, oh, everyone's got a full house. Everybody's got a full house, particularly the two guys that are still in the hand. So a chop pot there, everybody's favorite southpaw, Jonathan. There wasn't really much I could do there. If you did have it, I'm going to fucking buy it. And I'm not sure. I might have heard Jonathan call I, I out like uh, board, last hand I, here. I like it. Not you, sure. It's yeah. quite possible. Next live stream will be this Thursday. We've got a live stream Saturday night as well. Again, I encourage you to make the call. This will be the last hand, and we got a bomb pot. Last hand of the night. Live stream? Yeah. With a bomb pot. Okay, so this will be the last hand. Good live stream tonight. <laughs> Just outstanding. And, and I will say, didn't you think this last hour, though, and I it, I know Vic's going to be like, well, Dom knows the power hour. <laughs> but I would even say maybe venture out to the last hour and 45 minutes, the live stream kind of really heated up the action. Going back and forth. Now look at this. Speaking of which, King Jack raised to 150. A smooth call from Miles on the button. You already know my opinion about this play. Buddha, king three, and also a king three here for Caleb. So three-handed going to the flop. Kings are very cheap, and they're going to be hard to find. I'd rather have the king three suited than the king jack. <laughs> it's a four-nine deuce rainbow board. Great flop for queens with 470 in the middle. Two fifty is the bet. A little bit, just a hair more than the uh, size of the pot, or half size of the pot. Yeah. 
talked about James, the steady cadence. Miles is another player. I think James has realized that you don't want to try to bluff. Watch, I say that, and then he <laughs> does his first big bluff of the night. But, I mean, both these guys probably gained each other's respect. Like, I'm not going to yeah. mess with them throughout the whole night. But, yeah, speaking of the Nemesis, by the way, we got our Nemesis hoodies, everyone. You can check them out. We got about 10 or 15 left. Actually, we had 50. So uh, thanks for all the support for this live stream. And 100% of these um, just basically got what these cost. And then we're putting the rest of it toward our next line of shirts that will be coming out this spring, yeah. which uh, I can't wait to uh, share with those. By the way, one of them, there's going to be two. One of them is going to be involving the Victory Scar of Poker Vic. That's all I got to say, folks. It's going to be awesome. But, yeah, thanks again for tonight, guys. It was a great live stream, especially, like I said, Vic, the last hour and 30 was pretty exciting. We have uh, – you know, a great show coming up this Thursday at 6.30 yeah. because I you saw on there a lot of new faces were saying they were first-timers. Love seeing that on here. So, once again, we'll be back Thursday, same time, same place for our 1-3 no Knit Thursday live at the Reserve on YouTube. Thanks so much for tonight, Dom. It was a pleasure. And, ladies and gentlemen out there, please be safe. Take care, everybody.